Huge thank you to our channel member, Michael Painter. Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the uh, live aviation game show, Quizness Jet, here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. I hope you are well. A little mix up on the uh, a little mix up on the uh, one from the original thing, um, because I didn't put the right live stream key in, so therefore it was all null and void. So couldn't happen. Um, <laughs> So it's a little bit stupid, but there you go. Um, so we're here. Well, at, least, at least we are running. We have got a star started lineup for you this evening. We're going to go straight into uh, the um, guests for this evening. Now, first of all, uh, we are welcoming back to the show uh, after his adventure uh, doing some training. Uh, he, of course, is representing SDTV today. So big warm welcome to there we go. Let's do this properly. Can't get the buttons correct. God damn it. It's Matteo. Hi, Matteo. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Thanks for having well, me. <laughs> I'm all right now that we've got the thing working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bit, bit of a nuisance, but there you go. Um, right. Wonderful. How, how have you been? Obviously, it's been a while since you've been on, uh, on the on the show in any capacity. So, uh, obviously, we know you've been away as well. So, how's that all uh, all been for you? Yeah, I mean, it's been, uh, it's been around a year since I last spoke to you guys. And, yeah, uh, lots has happened. So, uh, I, I went to... Uh, over to Florida uh, around a year ago, spent six months there to do <laughs> my uh, foundation flight training. I uh, got my uh, private pilot's license and now I'm back here training uh, in the UK uh, and nearly uh, got my instrument rating and commercial license. So all very good exciting. Stuff. Yeah, good stuff. How do you feel about yeah. the uh, the quiz this evening? Obviously not uh, done this before. So what, <laughs> uh, what are you expecting or not expecting? Uh, I'm really from... nervous. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to be nervous about you're fine <laughs> yeah yeah i mean uh we'll just uh we'll just see what happens because uh i have no idea what sort no of idea. questions you're gonna throw at us tonight so i like it no idea <laughs> yeah yeah no idea so uh, we'll see what happens but i'm really uh, really looking forward to it be a good, good stuff. night anybody in particular that you might be a little bit worried about in terms of uh the quiz here oh i mean i know you haven't introduced everyone yet but i know there are lots of people that have been around the world flown on different <laughs> aircraft types and probably remember a lot more going further back if we're talking history uh, than I do. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Just wing it. Yeah, exactly. It. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll bring you back very, very shortly, but good to have you on the show. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Also joining us uh, finally with no delay and no sound issues or anything else at least i'm hoping so because we tested it earlier so fingers crossed it's ian hi ian how are you i'm very well tom how are you yeah very well uh yeah. after the technical hiccup yes yeah, uh all good all good yeah. uh have you had a good weekend so far uh, i've had a busy weekend this weekend with um a lot, i've been doing a lot of gardening and stuff we've had some good weather up here so yeah i've just been doing some gardening a bit of pottering about and stuff so yeah decent weekend good stuff and uh your chances this evening uh how do you rate them well, my chances this evening, I'm feeling a bit like Finland, cha cha cha. <laughs> so let's let's um, let's wait and see, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I like it, fantastic. Yeah, I thought you were going to say feeling like uh, Finland and robbed already, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> that's neither here or there. Um, it's all about the taking part, Tom. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the uh, any any uh, any yeah. <laughs> Oh dear! As I've always said, as long as he gets more points than Germany did last night, it's all that matters. Um, any fighting words at all for any of the uh, competitors today? Well, I mean, it's going to be a difficult one tonight. We've got a, a couple of um, seasoned flyers and things like that, and we've got the encyclopedia of Ma Matteo Mariana with mm. us. So that's always going to be a difficult challenge, isn't it? And <laughs> um, and you know, Jack. So let's see. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stranger I'm, things I'm, have I'm happened. Ready. That's all I can I'm say. Limbered up and I'm ready to go. Yes, strange things have happened. Good luck to you this mm. evening, and uh, thanks for coming on. All right, also uh, joining us, uh, and he's going to be very happy with how the weekend has gone. He'll tell you why. Uh, it is, of course, the Verwood kit man himself and uh, longtime Southampton hater. It is <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> how are you, Steve? Obviously, I don't need to ask you that because I know how you are, but just for the, everybody at home, uh, how are you this evening? Yeah, evening, Tom, even everyone watching. Yeah, absolutely delighted. I spent 30 quid to watch them down the road get relegated yesterday, and it's the best <laughs> 30 quid I've ever spent. Brilliant. And form have stayed up today, so... Uh... 
to all my Southampton supporting mates, um, unlucky. Enjoy Rotherham away next year. Send me a postcard. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, your chances as a former, and of course the first uh, Quizzetet champion, your uh, your chances this evening. Oh, next to none. But as long <laughs> as I don't, as long as I don't finish last to Jack, I will be uh, more than happy to be quite honest. Jack's like the, the 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 low bar that no one wants to go down to. Yeah, basically, <laughs> he, he is the the Southampton, if you will, of this quiz. The Southampton, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got there before I did. Uh, yeah, sorry, mate. <clears throat> any other fighting words for our uh, competitors this evening? Uh, no, because they all do wonderful work in their own field, so I'm not going to sit here and big it up because I will just come unstuck very quickly, I'm sure of it. Wise decision, wise decision, good stuff. All right, Steve, we'll bring you back shortly. Okay, talking of uh, Southampton. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Hello there. How are you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. How are you? Ah, oh, fa- fantastic. Thank you. Good stuff. Now, uh, Steve has obviously called you the uh, Southampton of the uh, quiz uh, purely because you finished last last time. Uh, any plans to uh, not finish last this evening? How are you going to go about that? Well, I'm just just going to take over the go. So, um, but. If I if I don't be um in the state that I'll be, in, it it'd be it'd be like looking at the uh, Vitality Stadium, <laughs> yeah. I I feel like there's some like in house like fighting yeah. going on. I I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, anybody in particular that you are sort of not fearful of, but uh, you think will uh, wipe the floor with you? I mean, apart from everybody, is there one person in particular? Uh, no. No. <laughs> All righty. All right, Jack, we'll bring you back very, very shortly. No problem. Uh, talking of Noel, the star of the show, at least on my part, so I'm very thankful to have him here. It's been a while. Um, it is, of course, Noel Phillips. Hello, Hello. Noel. <laughs> Hiya. How are you? I'm very well, Noel. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thank you very much. Yes. Good, good stuff. It's I mean, awesome. last time last time you and I spoke, uh, we you know, were in the same country, uh, and you now have taken up a new adventure uh, across the pond in America. How's everything going so far? It's going good, thank you. Yeah, getting used to this heat and trying not to burn my head. That's the that's the biggest thing that I've been um, having so far. But yeah, we're loving it here. Um, really settling in quite nicely now. So Good stuff, good stuff. Obviously, you've not done the quiz before and probably don't know quite too much about it at the moment. So uh, what, what are you sort of expecting or not expecting from, from this whole thing? I'm expecting I'm going to do terrible because I usually do at these things. So um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, like I said, stranger things have happened, so uh, we'll we'll see. I mean, if, if Steve can win it, anyone can win it. Uh, <laughs> that's my fighting talk, anyway. Um, anybody in particular that you're sort of looking to one up this evening? I think I'd just be happy if I don't come last. If I'm honest, that's uh, the... you'll be fine. Jack's got that sorted already. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we will bring you back very very shortly. And now to introduce the reigning defending Quizness Jet champion. He wiped the floor with everybody last time. Probably not going to do so this time, but we'll see. Don't, like I said, stranger things have happened. He's not sat down yet, so I can't introduce him. He is now. There you go. He's smiling away. It is, of course, the current champion, Darren Smith. Darren, a very good evening to you. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Obviously, you're up against uh, a quite, quite a knowledgeable amount of people. Yeah. And Jack, uh, how do you feel? Uh, you're... <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like I'm bullying him at the minute. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> How do you feel um, about sort of you know taking on a, a vast range of uh, of knowledge of, of people today? Oh, it's just going to be good fun. So you know, I, uh, yeah, to take it as it comes. I don't like your um, the eBay section. If you're doing those prices again, I always find them impossible to work out the uh, value of things. But uh, other than that, should be all right. The beauty so, of it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I might suddenly disappear because there's a all right, yeah, you got storm in the air, oh, uh, right? No, that's fine. If you disappear, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No problem at all. I might have struck my lightning. Yeah, no worries at all. All right, um, and sort of your chances of uh, of retaining. Obviously, we've not had it on the show recently, so all the shows we've done, there's always been a new champion. Uh, any sort of confidence that you might do well, or do you think you may come unstuck at some point? Nah, I just see how it goes. See how it goes. I like it. Not positive, not negative. Uh, I think Matteo knows a lot. The other guys know a lot. Um, Noel's an expert on toilets, so uh, <laughs> who knows? Oh. Just try and see how it goes. Oh, we've got a roundabout toilets. No, we don't. We haven't got a roundabout toilets coming up. It's fine. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <Good. Can't be> 
<laughs> good stuff all right let's bring everybody in so everyone can say a very quick hello to everyone that's the full round there good luck everybody yeah, yeah good luck guys <laughs> good stuff Ian and right. tom you two are going down <laughs> <laughs> i don't like this in team fighting you're supposed to support each other <laughs> jack i'm not worried yet <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good stuff. All right. I think Jack's gonna have to put plug on the internet, isn't it, to beat everybody? <laughs> the old dialogue. Everyone's just gonna have to leave. That's what's gonna have to. Everyone's just gonna have to leave, and then just Jack's just left standing. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we are missing a person. Um, of course, we have uh, Matt Cochran, who's supposed to be here. I don't know where he is, so we have to just crack on without him, uh, sadly. But we'll see if we can get him on next time. That's for sure. So. It's two out of two now. So, yeah, so I suppose one less person to kind of uh, go up against, but uh, whether that makes a difference or not, we'll, we'll go for it. Right, if you haven't seen the quiz before, here's how it works. We have four rounds of games to play. There are points up for grabs. Um, each round uh, will be explained to the contestants um, as we go. And uh, let me tell you, there's some very interesting rounds I've come up with this evening. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see, how we, uh, see how we get on with that one. Um, I will tell you about the points and stuff uh, after each round as well, just to give you an idea for the leaderboard, uh, so you know whereabouts you are, how you're getting on, etc. And of course, you guys as well can play at home, uh, play along at home. Keep uh, keep up to date with how you're doing, and then let us know at the end of the show what your score was, and uh, see if you did any better uh, than the six people playing today. So, shall we get on with it? And we'll go into our very, very, very first round, uh, which is... Uh, whose livery is it anyway? I didn't take that from any TV show, I promise. Um, <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, this round, I will show you 10 aircraft liveries. Uh, the more important things have been blanked out. I just need you to tell me uh, who whose livery it is, basically. Um, for this round, two points for the correct score. Uh, for the correct answer, I should say. Um and we'll start with, he says. All right, we'll start with this first one. So, whose livery does this belong to, please? Shout out when you uh, have written an answer down, and then we'll go around the room and uh, reveal them on the yeah. screen. Got it. Yeah. So in time with everybody, it was just that was that was pretty good. Uh, we'll give the uh, the audience at home just a little opportunity to. Uh, have a quick look at that. And we'll go to the answers. So who does that belong to? We are going to start with our current champion, Darren. Yeah, Cypress. Cypress Airways. Okay, Steve. Uh, I've also got... Cyprus Airways. We've also gone for Cyprus Airways. We'll go for Noel. I've gone for Bamboo. Noel's gone for Bamboo. Okay, over to Ian. I'm not going to lie. I haven't got an answer. I didn't know. <laughs> don't, oh, you didn't have an answer. I don't know it. No, I didn't know it. Uh, that is fine. Why do I feel like... Where's Jack on the screen? He's on my screen at the bottom. Is he? Hello? Upside, upside down. down. What? That's upside down. Hang on. <laughs> Have we, we've generally lost Jack here. <laughs> I'm here. Jack, Jack is there, but I don't know whereabouts he is. All right, we'll go. We'll just uh, we'll go with it. So, what was your answer? Sorry, your answer was nothing, wasn't it, Ian? Yeah, I haven't got an answer. Okay. No. Uh, upside down, Matteo. What is your <laughs> What is your answer? He can't hear. He can't hear. No. Just said to be technical issues. I like it. This is like some kind of Zoom call where everything goes wrong, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> see someone naked in there on the toilet. Matthew has got no no idea. All right, let me take him off just for a minute. He may have to rejoin. There's Jack. <laughs> What's your answer? Um, I've gone for Frontier. Frontier. Uh, let me just quickly pop Matthew a message. Um, where are you? <laughs> this is interesting it's a good start I, I expect this sort of thing from Ian but he's, uh, he's done well not to uh, 
He's done well. <laughs> I'll just see if he... Uh... Okay. Let me just remove him quickly. It's like tension. It's like, who, who's got the points? Who hasn't got the points? <laughs> Could be a long night, says Bruce. <laughs> Try, trying for it not to be, honestly. Ian, what, what are you watching in the background? Oh, Challenge Alnica. Oh, old school. That's, that's 1980s. <laughs> no, it's a new series. Get off. You bought it back, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Is her bum still fit? Uh, <laughs> doesn't look a day over 70. <laughs> uh, hello? <laughs> All right, Matteo, you are back with us. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what happened there. That's right. Uh, did you have an answer for the uh, for that one? Yeah, I wasn't too sure, but I guessed maybe fly mass. But fly mass. Cy Cypress Airways also seems like it could be correct. Okay. All right. Uh, so this livery uh, belongs to, of course, Cypress Airways. Oh. Oh, it's their nice. new livery on their A320. So, two points to Darren and two points to Steve. Well done, you two. Oh, well done, you two. Okay. Very good. Everyone nice colour scheme. Everyone getting the idea of how it works now. It's very easy. Very simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Matty or Cock, are you having technical issues or just because of Google? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <coughs> now, now, if you guys, you guys, you guys went silent, and then I just quickly rebooted. So yeah, uh, that's right. If it happens again, just like say, just reboot it. The link will still work. It'll be fine. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, next one, please. Uh, whose livery is this? Should be easy. Jack, nothing. Nothing's easy with yeah. you, Jack. Got <laughs> <laughs> it. Darren's got it. Everyone else got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well done to those in the chat, by the way, who got uh, Cypress Airways. From before. Ignore the flag on the tile. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, where did Damn it, it's supposed to throw everyone everything? off. You're not supposed to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's come back and uh, let's see. So I'm just hoping. Is it going to do everybody? It's not. It's going to miss somebody out. That's fine. Uh, so Jack, over to you. Who's, uh, whose livery is that, please? JetBlue. JetBlue from Jack. Matteo? Uh, Air Transat. Uh, Transat from Matteo. Uh, over to Darren. Air Transat. Air Transat from Darren. Over to Steve. Uh, I know it isn't, but I've put Aegean. Aegean. Uh, Noel. Air Transat. Air Transat says Noel. And if we go back to the normal screens, because Ian got cut off. Ian, over to you. What was, the, what yeah. was your answer? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I just couldn't think of its name. So no answer. No answer either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm falling. Doing well. This is the new technology yep. for you, isn't it? It's actually a working laptop. That's what's throwing you off. Yeah, that's it. true. Yeah. All right. This livery belongs to, of course it is. Don't don't take the flag. It's Air Transat. Of course it is. Uh, so two points to nice. Noel, Darren, uh, and Matteo on that one. Very well done. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Over to the next one. Uh, whose livery does this belong to? Oh, yes. Uh, well done yep. to Lewis from London Plane Spotting. You got it right yep. with their transat. Well, she cares as well. Jeanette McKenzie, Gail Leary, uh, Carl Crawford, some of them. Yeah. Very well done to you guys. All right. Everybody got an answer, yes or no? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Whose livery is that? We're going to start with Noel. I've got Varig. Varig for Noel. Jack. I've gone for a Caledonian. I didn't have a clue. Caledonian, that's all right. No worries at all. Uh, Matteo. Uh, Varig. Varig for Matteo. Darren. Darren's also gone for Varig. Very good. Uh, over to Steve. Um, I've had a massive punt and said FedEx. FedEx. <laughs> okay. And then over to cuts it gets cut Ian off again. <laughs> over to you. Mm. Yeah, I, again, I didn't have an answer. <laughs> I didn't know it. You are playing, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm playing an absolute blind. You're missing what you're telling Johnny. Okay, that's what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn that telly yeah, off in the background. 
All right, no worries at all. Uh, this livery it's belongs easy to... Jet orange jumpsuit from. <laughs> <laughs> this livery belongs to, well done, if you said, Varig. Oh, what a beauty. Mm, one of my that favorite liveries to be on an MD11. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah. Yeah. Points went to Noel, Matteo and Darren on that one. So very well done to you both. Okay, getting through them nicely, which is always uh, good. So I've got to be careful on this one because I've got to remember which... Okay, it's this one. All right, uh, whose livery is this one, please? Welcome to the potato half today. Oh, what's another one I know, but I don't know. Hang on. Uh, SDTV Live, thank you very much for the super chat. That's much appreciated. Saying love this, guys. Thank you got very it. much. Yeah, got it. It's not like my choice or something. <laughs> Are we doing the one in the foreground or the background? Uh, background. I thought I'd make it easy for everybody. <laughs> yeah, we're ignoring the one at the front. It's just uh, what airline is that at the back? Yeah. <laughs> Emirates. 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 Good stuff. All right. Everyone got an answer? Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see who this cuts off now. It's Ian again, but we'll go Steve first. <laughs> uh, I've said my travel slash Emirates. <laughs> Giving the last one away here, far too easy. Uh, all right, my travel uh, slash Emirates, says uh, to Steve. Noel, over to you. I've said my travel, but it could also be my travel Scandinavia. Not not, not easy to tell because the reg was blanked out. Yeah, that's, that's why I did it. Uh, <laughs> very good. Uh, Jack, over to you. I put TNT. TNT. Like ACDC, mm -hmm. like dynamite. Uh, Matteo, over to you. Uh, my travel. My travel for Matteo. Uh, we've got Darren. My travel. Darren's also got my travel. And to bring him back, because it seems to cut him off, uh, Ian. I have actually got my travel. You've really? actually written something down as well. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my travel. I, it it nearly was my choice, but then I realised that was a local shop. <laughs> 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 oh dear very good very good all right uh so this livery uh the one at the front not the back uh of course belongs to my travel and it's the uk version not the scandinavian one <laughs> but i would have taken the scandinavian one even if it was <laughs> so well done uh points going to um everybody except jack i think on that one Righty ho. Okay. I think this might be a little bit of a trickier one, but we'll see. Uh, whose livery is this? Oh, that's nice. Whose does that belong to? <clears throat> well done. To you. Uh, Samil Bandari, you got that one Ooh. correct. Okay. Yeah. Is that newly delivered? It. Say again, sorry. Is that newly delivered? Didn't know they had them. Uh, I'd say not quite delivered. Oh, okay. Due to be. Everyone got an answer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think mm. so. It, Ian's not too sure. No, I've got, an, got answer, an answer, but it's not going to be the right You've one. Got an answer. All right, whose livery is that one, please? Let's go for Darren first. He's gone for Iraqi. Steve? Uh, come at the frog air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> Just done a complete Jack Rolls attempt at uh, trying to get that one there. Uh, <laughs> come at the frog air, says Steve. <laughs> Noel. That's French. Iraqi Airways. Iraqi Airways from You can Noel. read my dreadful writing. <laughs> That's all right. Jack? Transavia. Transavia, says Jack. Mm. Uh, good shout, Matteo. Uh, Iraqi Airways. Matteo's going to mark <laughs> that one. And uh, Ian, what have you, what have you got? I'd actually put FDA for Fuji Dreams Fuji. because of the tail. Okay. I then realized it was like a dream line and then just thought, you know, it's just not, is it? So, so you've got no answer. No, <laughs> but I have, it's wrong. <laughs> Fuji Dreams. Fuji Dreams. Uh, this livery yeah. belongs to, and it's due to be delivered very, very soon. Of course, it's Iraqi Airways. 
Nice. No, you need to do their business class. I know, I, I really do, but um, it kind of causes issues with my visa here if I go to Iraq. That's the only problem. So. Ah, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it's a lovely livery. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's proper nice. Mm. Mm. Uh, it very looks good, good on anybody. their two as well. <laughs> uh, Steve, you've made a lot of people laugh in the chat by saying Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least I've achieved something here tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well done to Jim Gemmell, who got it right. Carl Crawford as well. Gail Leary got it right. Uh, very Jesus. very knowledgeable people in the chat. Very, very good. Okay. So from there, uh, we move on to, and I've thrown in some curveballs. So we'll, we'll see how well, you know, how well you know your, uh, your liveries. Uh, whose is this one, please? Ooh. Oh yeah, that's really smart, but I, <laughs> I thought I'd throw in uh, throw in some uh, some some curveballs there. It seems to have worked. So, just while you're uh, coming up with answers, uh, there is a link at the top of the chat for those that uh, are watching this evening. Uh, you can become part of the uh, the membership crew uh, by uh, by clicking the link that is pinned to the top of the comments. Oops. Uh, if you want to support the channel through that way. Everybody got an answer or you still want a bit of time? I think I've got yeah. something. Something down. Everyone's got yeah. something? All right. Whose livery is this? Let's start off then with... Matteo? Right. I'm not sure, but I would imagine, is it maybe like a special from Peach, the ANA low-cost? Uh, Peach? Says I'm not sure. uh, Matthew, no worries at all. Uh, Darren, well, I'm going by the duck's mouth on the front. I think it might be knock air. Knock air no. says, uh, says Darren. Steve, yeah, I've gone Japanese as a punt, so I've gone um, A and A. A and A says Steve. Noel, I've gone with the duck face on the front, and I've put knock air as well. Knock air as well. Jack, viewling, viewling. And of course, we've cut him off again, Ian. Yeah, for well, Southwest. Southwest. I can reveal to you this livery. Uh, I, I, th I thought I'd throw some curveballs in there just to see if we could do it. Um, it actually belongs to Azul. Oh. Oh. Ah. The art of special liveries that just designed to throw people off. <laughs> yeah, nice. Who did all the Angry Birds ones? Um. Angry Birds. Not Angry sure. Birds. I can't think off the top of my head. I remember them. Yeah, I can't think. Can't think off the top of my head. That's that's the next quiz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got that written down as the next question. Uh, <laughs> we're ahead of ourselves. Uh, right, no points scored from anybody on that run. Uh, I have a question. Hey. That's a South American airline, yeah. Yes. I'm sort of aiming at a null, really, mm. and he's, def he's defending all the sort of like uh, airliner streamers. Why is it none, none of you guys get down to South America, Mark? Because it's nobody watches them. That's the problem. I've done some stuff in South America before. Um, it's kind of there's a combination. So the airlines in South America, a lot of there's not that much interesting stuff, and what there is is quite kind of widely spread. So there's some, a couple mm. of cool things. I was looking at going down and doing. There's an F28 still flying in Argentina, for instance, um, and there's a couple of bits like that. But mostly it's just LATAM A320s, um, or yeah. you know, that's pretty much it, really, across the whole True. kind of continent. There isn't really a lot to film down there, and if you is film stuff there? on those, and like nobody's like going to watch them. It's just yeah, a yeah. LATAM fly, you know. Mm. The Sentinel 32s in Peru, which are airline operated, but uh, I've, yeah, yeah, I've been watching that, but I, I don't know whether they're actually flying for passengers yet. I know yeah. they were doing cargo, and I, I did get in touch with them, and they said they're not flying them for passengers yet, soon, hopefully. So, and there's some cool stuff in Colombia as well. They've got like Beach 1900s and jet streams and stuff flying there. So there is a few bits and bobs, but the trouble is, it's like there's some here and there's some here and there's some down here. Yeah, there's not really. Yeah, yeah much in one place you've got to sort of travel yeah. around quite a bit so you've got to justify the whole trip exactly right yeah so. exactly that so big as well like everywhere's so far apart exactly yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's equatorial yeah, yeah. a lot of it so it like takes like three times as long to get anywhere so. <laughs> good yeah. stuff all right let's uh let's crack on with some more uh of these rounds uh i would like you to please tell me who's this one uh whose livery is this not the right one it is the right one Oh, last in the past. Whose is that one, please? Mm. 
Cool. Yep. Got it. Everyone's got uh, an answer, which is yep, good. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I'm going to go for, and I'm going to cut someone else out this time. So I'm going to put there. So we'll cut Steve out this time and get Steve to go at the end. Uh, Jack, over to you. I've gone uh, for Eurostar. Who's that, please? I've gone for Eurostar. Who? Eurostar. Eurostar. Okay, no worries. It's a train. Eurostar. <laughs> Uh, Matteo, over to you. Is it the old BMI scheme? I'm not sure. Old BMI scheme. Darren. BMI. Darren's also gone for BMI. Ian. Yeah, but there was one called Northwest Airlines, weren't there? Back in states, weren't mm. there? Back in there. There was. Was it called Northwest? Is that what you're going for? Oh yeah, that's my answer. That's your yeah. answer, uh, Noel. I've gone for British Midland or BMI, depending on when it was taken. Okay, no worries at all. Um, and then, of course, if we go back to normal, Steve? I've gone for uh, Body Mass Index, BMI. Mass index. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Still. Body Mass Index. Very good. All right. This livery, of course, does belong to the, um, before the rebranding into Body Mass Index, it is, of course, British Midland. Beautiful mm. livery, that I love it. Wow, yeah, nice. Is that a fucker? It is a uh, yeah. fucker 100, yes. Is that one of the old... I didn't even know they had them. That's oh, really cool. Lovely little yeah. things they are, yeah. Lovely little things they were. The old diamond yeah. class <laughs> had all sorts of weird planes over the years. DC 9s they used to have as well years ago. Mm. Remember them, really? Yeah, wow. And shorts 360, shorts 360s, yeah. Saabs, lots of them. Very good, everyone. Uh, points then for everybody, barring uh, Ian, who said Northwest, and Jack, who said the Eurostar, <laughs> which is a train, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. All right. Uh, who's is this one, please? Oh. We'll go play me. <laughs> Careful. <clears throat> Got some very knowledgeable people in the chat. Not missing a trick with these. No one did it. It's in full colours. It's comfy on that. Hey. <laughs> I might find a way of swapping them all. Right, has everyone got an answer? Yep. Yeah. 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 I might don't bother me. I mean, I'd be cool. All right, let's have a look and see what you've got for this mm. one. Let's start with uh, Noel. I've gone for PIA. PIA. No. Uh, Jack, over to you. I've gone for Saudi Airlines. Saudi Airlines. Good shout. PIA. PIA from Matteo. Um, Darren. Darren also going for PIA. Ian. Yep. PIA. PIA. Steve. Uh, P I A. P I. Have you written it down? Yep. Somewhere. There he is. <laughs> He's got it. Very good. All right. Of course, that livery belongs to P I A. Combi. Nice. It's a combi as well. Mm. Oh. One of my favourite of the P I A liveries that they've had. Proper retro, that, isn't it? Yeah, nice, yeah. nice green. That. Very, very nice. How many out of 10, Jack? Um, I'd have to give that a 10 out of 10. It's a <laughs> bit of work, but... Mm. Disappointing. I thought you'd say a 2, just for old time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, as well, just for the comedy <laughs> value. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> All right, two more to go. And then we'll be over for the first round. Uh, whose livery, then, is this one, please? Got it. Got it. Yeah, got it. Okay, just bear with me. Mm. 
Matt Cochran thought we were starting in 10 minutes. Bless him. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, that's fine. Um, okay. Everyone's got an answer. For Is this he coming on? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Going to cut Jack out this time. <laughs> uh, Ian, over to you. Whose is that, please? Uh, I, well, there you go. I've got her Malta uh, for that. Malta. Uh, Noel. Uh, Air Mauritius. Air Mauritius from, uh, from Noel. Very good. Okay. Uh, Steve. Uh, I have, no, it isn't, but I've gone for Norwegian. Norwegian. Uh, Matteo? Uh, I'm not sure, so I just took a guess at CSA, the Czech, Czech CSA. Airlines. CSA? Yeah. Darren? Air Mauritius. Darren's also gone Air Mauritius. And then if we go back to normal, Jack, where's he gone? <laughs> there he is. I didn't cut you out completely, Jack. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, your answer for that one? Tunisian. Tunisian. Uh, I can tell you this one is the older uh, livery, uh, of course, of Air Mauritius. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's mint, really. Very, nice. very smart on their old A340s. Mm. When they scrapped at Kimball? Uh, this one in particular was, and I saw it, yeah. Yeah, this one's been uh, scrapped in the, in the new livery, so this is gone. Sin. Very good, everybody. I know Jack's disappearing and coming back the whole time. Yeah, the thing's just gone out completely blank, so I'll, c I'll come back in again. You leave and come back? Yep. I love technical difficulties. <laughs> it happens. No way to speak about Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. We'll take a quick uh, quick pause just while he comes back. Uh, well done, everybody that uh, got uh, Mauritius. Yes. Can I go to the loop, please? Uh, yes, you can. You put your hand up. Very good. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. You have to hold it to the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Should have gone at break time. Yeah, yeah, extra point yeah, yeah, you're going to break time. Right, anybody else need to disappear, grab a drink or whatever? Now's a good opportunity to do so. Um, yeah, not, go on. You're welcome to stay. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Well, she kept saying, please, sir. There's an interesting <laughs> one with that um, Air Mauritius. I didn't realise the cheat line was that like thick. I thought it was much thinner. It's nice. It looks no, good. it's it's a it's a very nice old livery. They they kept that for for a few years before they changed it, and uh, they changed like the font, I think. Font was the only thing that changed. They made it a little bit bolder. So I think uh, it looks. Um, if you look it up on Google, they they've got a, a seven six seven two hundred that was in that livery, oh, nice. and it looks very very smart, very very smart indeed. Yeah. yeah no, I saw you were on a seven six two recently, weren't you? Last week, yeah. yeah. Eastern Airlines. Yeah, that was. How fun. was that? Uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. It did it look very. Very well, awesome. Um, they couldn't get the, the cargo door open at the end of the flight, so we had to wait two hours for the bags because it had sort of jammed. So, yeah, <laughs> that was that. Was that. Um, and the toilet, you, you couldn't lock the toilet door. That was another <laughs> thing. So, like, if you, obviously, <laughs> as a result of that, you couldn't actually have the light on because the light only comes on when you shut the door and with the door locked. So you sort of had to like have a flashlight on so you could see what you were doing in the bathroom. So, yeah, <laughs> it's um, all very... <laughs> That was in business class. <laughs> that was in business class, yeah, exactly. I mean, we got a bag of crisps for it, so yeah, it was worth wow. it. <laughs> Not the same Eastern as before, clearly. Uh, no, no, I think they've gone down a little bit, but um, it was interesting. It's like literally nobody on the plane. So they, they fly it once a month down to um, the Dominican from Miami. Mm. Like literally one day a month, it goes there and back, and that's it. Weird. Very weird um, how they're doing things. Uh, we'll wait for yeah. Steve to come back, and then I will uh, read out the... Um, Scores from that first round. Uh, lots, as I said, lots of people very knowledgeable in the uh, in the chat. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lynn well, Keeble, just a quick one while we wait for Steve. Uh, salt and vinegar twists or onion rings? Anyone? Oh, salt and vinegar. No onion rings. Yeah, yeah. onion rings. Yeah. Onion rings. Yeah. 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 Remember burger bites? A little round. Oh, oh burger, burger bites. Bite. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Good shout. All right. The, uh... So we'll go through the first round scores. 
Um, so there's six of us, so I'll go in sixth place, which is the last place, uh, on a, uh, how you say it, Eurovision, Nilpois, um, is, of course, Jack with uh, Zilch, nada, not a thing. In fifth place is Ian with four points. Uh, in... Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> just, just leave now. <laughs> um, Steve is in uh, fourth with eight points. Then it is very close. As third is Matteo with 12. Noel in second with 14. And Darren leading the way with 16 points. Ooh. So very, very good. Well, next to Sweden, so they, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. So we are going to go on to the next round now, and we haven't done this uh, since the uh, the very first show. Um, and I've been waiting for an opportunity to do this, and I'm going to feel quite bad about this in some sort of way. The title will throw people off because they might not know what it is, but if you know what it is, it is Bob Ross does not approve. So this... Get his eyes. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't edit that. That's literally, that's how I found that picture. <laughs> What it really look like. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this this particular round is, of course, a drawing round. Oh no! <laughs> which I know everybody's been looking forward to. Um, so this round will consist of you will have two of a particular subject each to draw. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is a little bit different. Rather than call in and say, I know the answer, I'm going to get you to write down what you think it is. Same sort of thing as the livery style thing. So everyone else, barring the person that's drawing, will get to see what they're drawing. And then you'll have 45 seconds to draw it. And the twist is you've got to draw it with your weak hand. Otherwise, it's far too obvious. <laughs> draw it with your weak hand. You have 45 seconds to do it. Um, and uh, after 45 seconds, you show what you've got, and then you write down the answer. Um, Excuse me? Yes. Oh, I can't even undo my flies with my weak hand. <laughs> you'll be all right at this <laughs> thing. <That's> you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. So, oh, crazy. For, uh, okay. so what will happen is there'll be two points, again, two points uh, up for grabs for the correct answer. <laughs> Uh, if nobody gets the correct answer, the two points goes to the person that's drawn it. So we'll we'll see see how this goes. Right, Okie okay. dokie. All right. So up first, we're going to go in order of the scores from bottom to top. So Jack will be drawing first. God help us all. <laughs> so if uh, Darren, Matteo, Steve, Ian, and Noel, if you cover your eyes or turn away, please. Ian, did you have a question? Yeah, um, is there a specific topic? Like there is a specific topic. Aircraft types. There is a specific topic. A topic which I will explain very, very shortly once I've given oh, Jack okay. his uh, right, thing okay. to read. So if everyone could just look away. Right. Uh, Jack, here is your first thing that you have to draw. Everyone gets two goes at this. So here is what you have to draw. Okay. Yep. Okay, everyone can turn back round. Uh, the subject matter for this one is aircraft type. Okay. Uh, Jack, your 45 seconds to draw with your weak hand starts now. All right, so he's going to draw it and we're going to guess it. Jack's going to draw it. After 45 seconds, you just write down what you think. Because otherwise, if you're going to, everyone's going to be shouting and hollering if they call their name to say they, they know the answer. So just write down what you think it is. If you have no idea, you don't need to answer it. Um, and we'll just move on from uh, from there. But there are two points up for grabs for the uh, for the correct answer. Uh, right. Jack, you've got twenty seconds. Yeah. Do I write down the answer with me weekend as well? No. I mean, you can <laughs> if you want to, but that's entirely up to you. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> All right, ten seconds, Jack. Five, four, three, two. One, pop your pencil down or pen, whatever you're drawing. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Matthew, I'm going to cut you off, but you'll be fine. So you'll just, just write down the answer what you think it is. Um, okay, everybody, have a guess as to what that is. Have a think. Don't shout it out. Write it down on your bit of paper. <laughs> write it down on the bit of paper what you seem to think that is. <laughs> Okay, Jack, if you put it down. 
give people an opportunity. If anyone needs to see it again, give uh, give Jack a shout. Insight, insight, <coughs> Britannica. Huh? I said the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> it's uh, certainly something. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyone need to see it again? No. Uh, I'm not seen enough. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> seen enough. <laughs> All right. So, I think so this is a guarantee two points for Jack, isn't it? We'll see. Oh, yeah. We'll Playing see. the game right. Yeah. Well, we'll, well, hopefully not doing it in the way you can't get it, but we'll find out. Uh, Matteo, over to you. What do you think it is? Is it a red arrow or something? Uh, it is not a red arrow. I don't know. Um, Steve, over to you. Uh, I think Jack has attempted to draw Concord. Concord? It is not what? Concord. Uh, Noel? I've put a red arrow. So, Red arrow as well. It's not a red arrow. Ian? I thought series three, episode twelve of her crash investigation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, Darren, over to you. I put Alpha Jet or a Hawk. Alpha Jet Ooh. or a Hawk. Very good shout. Um, unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, I don't think this is Jack playing the game well. I just think that Jack can't draw. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, Jack, if you just bring it back up on screen. That's, it's ladies and gentlemen, it's supposed to be... A snip. A tornado. A legion. Oh, a right. tornado. Okay. Looks like it's been in one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, two points to Jack. I don't know how. <laughs> Right, uh, so Jack, uh, right, over to Ian for this one. So if everyone else can turn their backs. Uh, Ian, you're going to be attempting to draw this. Oh, okay. If you need visual aid, you can look it up. Yeah, I'm sure I've got it in my head. Okay. Your 45 seconds will start in three, two, one, go. And everyone else can turn around and have a look. Uh, I don't think anybody. In fact, I've, there's no point trying to look at the chat to see if everyone got it because I've showed what exactly what it was. So there's no point looking. Uh, <laughs> just, I'll just thought I was like, let's have a look and see who got it right. I'll be everyone then, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, twenty seconds left. <laughs> yeah, bar barbers up for us, uh, Darren. Eh? Three. I said, bar barber's up for us today. I still can't hear that again. <laughs> I said, bar barber's up for us today. Talking about football? Yeah. All right, Ian, stop drawing. Arsenal, yeah. Oh, very good. But right, there is a okay. clue. So, let's get Ian up on screen. Uh, show your drawing, please. Oh. Uh -huh. It's got a smile on your face. Interesting. Okay. Have a think. And that right is with me left hand as well. <laughs> I'm a bit neater than that. <laughs> I should have oh. probably said there are no words and things like that that make it obvious, but we'll let this one off for the minute. Oh, I do apologise. That's all right. No, it's fine. We'll let, we'll let it off for the minute. Right. Has everyone got an answer? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. wrong though. Okay, I'm looking for specifics. So let's have a go. Uh, Matteo, over to you. Is it the Nimrod that's on display at the viewing park? Nimrod says, Matteo, it is well, not. <laughs> yeah, it's not the, it's it's not not. the Nimrod. Okay. Uh, Steve. Uh, I have gone for uh, C17. C17, it is not C17. No. I've gone for an Airbus A340 based on the number of engines, but that's not at the Manchester viewing park. So, Okay, that's not the A340. Jack? I've gone for a Boeing 747. 747? Yeah, the one that's so obvious at the Manchester viewing park. Uh, no, it's not It's not the 747. Uh, and uh, Darren, over to you. Uh, I've got an A340 as well. A340 yeah. as well. It is not. Uh, Ian, if you want to just show on screen again. 
It's the BAE 146. Ah. The engines are on. No, 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 the wing's on the wrong side of the plane. Yeah. The wing's on the <laughs> wrong side of the plane. I did say if you wanted visual aid. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't matter. You all got it wrong anyway. Yeah, it's all right. Is that better? There we go. <laughs> Very good. All right, two points. Uh, two points to Ian. Um, cha -cha. Cha -cha. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, so, Steve, it's your turn. Nice. Um, so, everybody that uh, will be guessing, if you can turn your backs. Uh, okay, Steve, uh, you'll be drawing... One second, then. Get some visual aid if you need it. Let me know when you're ready, and 45 seconds will begin. <coughs> yeah, okay. All good? Yeah. All right, your 45 seconds begins now. Uh, no, you can turn back around. You're all good. Oh, am I the only one looking <laughs> the way? <laughs> I'd want it. <laughs> uh, lots of people loving this uh, round in particular. Uh, Lewis from London, London Plain Spotting says this round is like a poor man's The Voice because everyone's turning around. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Do we get extra points for singing? No. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm unfortunately not. <laughs> uh, 10 seconds left, Steve. Four, three, two, one. Put your pen down. Oh. Hmm. Can everyone see that? Because I've got glitchy on my screen. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Everyone can see that? Right, that's fine. Yeah. I got to think like a six year old here. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Let's see if I can bring it back. There, there you go. All right, everyone got an answer? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, Matthew, what do you think that is, please? Um, I'll be honest, I have no idea. Some high wing props. I'd say maybe one of those like retractable gear Cessna 172 things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no idea. No worries at all. Uh, Ian, over to you. I mean, I would have got that same role as, but I'm going to, as, as, as Matty or but I'm going to say a Piper or something, a Cherokee or whatever. Piper Cherokee? Yeah. Okay. Um, Noel, over to you. I've put Cessna Caravan. But... Cessna Caravan? Yeah. Uh, Jack? I've heard of blinking Pilatus PC12. I didn't know what. Pilatus PC12. And uh, Darren? Well, I was thinking out the box. I put Spitfire. Spitfire. Yeah. All right, very good. Um, Steve, if you just pop that back on the screen. I don't know how he's got it, but the points go to Matteo. It's a Cessna 172 that Steve was doing. <laughs> wow. Because <well. laughs> I'm an artist. Well played, he's an, art <laughs> an artist. Yeah. An artist. Very good. Very good artist. Uh, yes, two points for Matteo on that one. Very well done. Okie dokie. Right, up next is... Uh, I believe it was, of course, uh, Matteo, it is your turn, actually, to start drawing oh. this one. Uh, so everybody, please turn away. Right. Okay. And in your best weak hand drawing. Uh-huh. Um, can you see that? No. You can't see that? Let me message it to you instead. Okay. Nice wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. 45 seconds to do that uh, starts now. All right. All right. Everyone can turn back around. Noel very creepily turning back around. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be the last one out this time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Mike B saying it's like five naughty, uh, five people on the naughty step. <laughs> <laughs> Benny saying con artist, Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think there's another type of artist, but we'll keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ten <laughs> seconds, uh, Matteo. Okay. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Okie dokie. Right. Right, let me bring you up onto the screen here. I'm pretty sure Bob Ross will not approve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right so I'll, I'll show it up, yeah? Yeah, pop up on screen and uh, people will have a look. Oh, you made that too easy. That is way too easy. <laughs> I've seen one of them before. <laughs> it's all good. It's all fine. I think the real one's a bit more symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> to be fair, this one was a nice easy one. Everyone should have an answer, I think, so we'll go for it. Uh, Steve? Uh, I've said the Vulcan. Have you? Yeah. Okay, Vulcan. Uh, no worries at all. Uh, Ian? Uh, Concord. Ian's gone Concord. Uh, Noel? Concord, Jack? I've been inside there, so Concord. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, dear. <laughs> Jack. Let's drag the quiz down to Jack's level. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, Darren? Uh, Concord. Uh, Darren going Concord as well. Um, so, Matteo, bring it back up on screen. Uh, of course, it is Concord. Yeah, well, I, th I think what Steve was looking at because um because as the same exact engines as the um is the Vulcan. I was more looking at he may have said Vulcan because of the curved wing. Mm, yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you do that with your weak hand? Uh, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I mean, nothing like that. He's not telling you he's ambidextrous. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheating now. I wish. <laughs> cheating. All right. Very well done. Everyone got points, uh, of course, barring Matteo and uh, Steve on that one. Very well done. All right. Uh, Noel, you're up next. So if everybody can turn the way, uh, you will have 45 seconds to draw. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. 45 seconds starts now. Yeah. Everyone can turn back round. Oh, That's awesome. uh, Gemma Rowe saying that this is my first time watching this channel and I'm sure it's not going to be my last one. Glad that you are enjoying the content here. It, it literally is a madhouse, as Benny says. So, uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to it. Um, no, much. bit of upshirt in there with um, Jack. <laughs> I, I was closing the curtains. All right, <laughs> I'll say that. All right, 15 <laughs> seconds remaining for this one. You need the countdown clock. I, I fear I could get struck for it. That's the only reason I haven't done it. You will. Okay. I've used it before. And it's yeah, there you go. So that's why I've, I don't tend to use it. Right. Uh, pen well, it's co down. It's copyrighted, isn't it? Yeah. Time to reveal uh, your drawing, please. Oh. Interesting. Ooh, okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Ross would not look like a new type. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a think, everybody. Get an answer it. written down. Mm. Okay. Everyone got something in their mind? Yep. yep. Okie dokie. Uh, Darren, what is that? One, well, please. I'm going to go for TriStar, I think. Hey, TriStar. Jack? I've gone for uh, Sun Sunderland. Sunderland, okay. Uh, Matteo? Uh, I've gone for the TriStar. Tri He's moved out well. the tail a bit, so I reckon TriStar. Hey, Ian? 
<laughs> it's it's funny because when I looked at it and when Jack said Sunderland, I didn't actually think Sunderland, but I've actually gone for an MD11. MD11, Steve. Oh. I've also gone for an MD11. I've written it down just so there's no shenanigans going on here. Okay, very good. Uh, let's have a look at the screen there. Uh, Noel was given the uh, task of drawing the L1011 TriStar. Very good. Ooh, well done. <laughs> Clues in the tail bit there. So. <laughs> Uh, Bob Ross would approve. <laughs> He's got low standards then, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm not saying anything about his tail, but it did look like an hand gesture. <laughs> Very good. All right, Darren, uh, as you're leading the way, it's your turn for the first round here. So um, if everyone else can turn away. Again, if you need visual aid, you can. Um, this is what you are drawing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, everyone else can turn back round. Uh, your 45 seconds starts now. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Max has said he's got to be right back, and everyone's like, take your time. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> take your time. <laughs> Very good. Right, 25 seconds remaining. Does Don't half go quickly this time. Probably going for, for his 10th bath. 10th bath, yeah, that's what it is. Um, all right, 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one. Excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, this is what down. Yeah. All right. So if you want to reveal your wrong. drawing, British Aerospace have decided to start again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <coughs> wow. <laughs> it's very de decorative. Well, you know, interesting. It's what it is. Flying <laughs> ballast. You're giving it antlers. <laughs> I decided to draw the pilot, and then I thought that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Very good. I want the points. <laughs> All right, have a think, everyone. I just realised the wings are a bit high. Okay, so everyone's got an answer. Can I give a pen to my dog on the floor and ask him to draw it? He might be better. <laughs> I mean, whether you think it'd be any better or not is... <laughs> <coughs> All right. Everyone got an answer? Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, Steve, what do you think? Well, just because it's got a roundish looking nose, I have gone for an A320. A320, very good. Oh, good shout. Uh, Ian, over to you. Can I just look at it again, please? Because as bad as what the drawing looks, to be as bad as what the drawing looks, to be quite honest, I can see like little um, sort of the little winglets at the end, you know, like a like a well, an A380's got, but we've been a twin engine. I'm also going through a, A320. Have you written that down? No, I haven't. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I had to. There was nothing in the rules saying he had to. <laughs> I can do. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He seems sincere. I'll tell you what. Just to he can have stop it. any yeah. controversy. I smell some cheating going on here. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what. I brought A321. <laughs> A321. Yeah. All right. A321. Uh, I, can see little, I can see the little winglets at end, like, an, like a, a what's it's got, like an A320's got. Okay, no worries. Uh, Matthew, over to you. Um, I was also <laughs> looking at the winglets, but they looked a bit more like those scimitars, so I've, I've put a punt on a 737. 737, okay. Jack? I've gone for an A320 as well. A320. Mm. And uh, Noel? Well, I originally went for A320, but then I reassessed when I saw the size of those winglets, and I put a 737 Max 8. 737 Max 8. Oh, that's a good shout. Man. All right. Uh, Darren, if you can bring it up on screen. 
Uh, very well done to those that said A320. Come on! <sighs> Oi. Oi. Let's go! Do I still get the point because I said it originally? <laughs> <laughs> no, because that means I have to give Ian the points. And, uh... <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. I changed my answer. No, I'll, I'll accept that. I accept that. Just shout. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, A320. Very well done. All right, now we go back round for one more time. Because right. I just want to see how these will turn out. Uh, <laughs> so it's Jack to draw. Oh, Christ on a bike. Christ on a bike, indeed. Jack to draw. He's already drawn. Yeah, no, we're going around one more time. Oh, sorry, I do apologize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, sure. 45 seconds, Jack to uh, please draw oh. when Ian turns around. Oh, sorry, I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 45 seconds to draw. If you need visual aid, you can. Yeah, I'll do that. Grab some visual aid. Aid, rather. <coughs> Let me know when you're ready, and then your 45 seconds will begin. Yep. Uh... All good? Almost, yep. Yeah. Can we turn back? Uh, you can turn back now, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> right, I've got it, I've got it. Right. Got it. All right, yeah. your 45 seconds begins now. Using visual aid. Which is why he's off screen there. Uh, let's have a look here. So... Uh, Rob Brown, uh, hope you get better soon. He's saying he's been in hospital this week. Um, and he's still suffering the after effects of uh, why he was in the hospital. So I hope you do get a lot better. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Get well. Yeah, get well soon, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Get well soon, Rob. Get well soon. Lots of people coming out with uh, some interesting... Wayne Hartshorn says, uh, aircraft being scrapped, it looks limp <laughs> from Darren's drawing. <laughs> 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 All right, Jack, back on screen, please. Yep. Oh. I've also got one of his dog toys. Dog toys. <laughs> uh, right. That's it. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> He's the right way. All right. <clears throat> let's uh, bring him up on screen there. Right. What is that one, please? <laughs> 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 I can safely say it looks like a minion that's been cut in half. <laughs> Oh, is a glider? Wow. Is that a glider? Yeah. Must like stuck out the back. <laughs> that is incredible. That's a Swiss army knife. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's used a Swiss army knife. See if that was someone's doing uh, the uh what, what stroke do you call it in swimming? The back stroke. Backstroke. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Well, she, well, <laughs> well, she Kev, which I think is with the comment of the night going, you can order that from Love Honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, goodness. All right. I, I don't think anyone's going to get this. I really don't. <laughs> oh, dear. Apart from it looking like a Love Honey toy. Um, does anyone have a, an idea? Like... <laughs> If I just bring up everybody now, so we're gonna have a rough idea as to what this is. Steve, you may as well just throw anything out there. Uh, I've put wherever it's gone a flying <laughs> third. <laughs> I, I was thinking with the thing on the roof, and he'd not finished it on the top. I was gonna say an airwax or something, and he'd not put the disc on top. Oh, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, flying turd, it says Steve. Um, <laughs> Ian, over to you. Um, yeah, um, because he put the thing on top, and I just thought he might have put a disc on, and I'd say airwax. You know, as we're talking about love honey and stuff, don't, don't do that. <laughs> 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 oh dude. All right, it's gone for an AWAX uh uh aircraft. Um Matteo, over to you. Um I've gone down the glider route, so I've just put down the only glider that I know <laughs> of, which is a ASK 21 thingy. 
a crushed glad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, over to um, Darren. Over to you. I'm assuming he hasn't finished it, so there's no engines. So I'm going to go C17. C17. And uh, Noel, over to you. I've put a, um, a glider about to crash after losing a wing. <laughs> <laughs> but the last moments of it so not the fun. last moments yeah all right um, up on Sky News. it's it's to no surprise that uh, nobody got it <laughs> <laughs> so jack if you want to just bring that back, uh, back up on screen uh we'll just say a quick goodbye to samil bandari who's leaving us uh so yeah, thanks for popping in yeah, yeah. yeah um that ladies and gentlemen is supposed to be a C5 Galaxy. <laughs> I can see that with I'm the tail, close. actually. I'm close. I think, isn't, doesn't the tail have a similar kind of uh, thing to what you've done there? A leg on it. I think you're being unnecessarily kind to him there. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Uh, Bruce, a big thank you to you for the gifted subs. Anybody who wants to claim those, they can by allowing uh, gifted sub-memberships to be accepted. Um, yeah, very good. Very good. All right, two points to Jack. I don't think that's of any surprise to anybody. <laughs> um, right, okay. Uh, up next is, I believe, Ian. It is Ian up next, so you will be taking part, so everyone yeah, else can yeah. turn away. Yeah, I'm just changing my paper. Okay. Yeah. You get the wonderful task of drawing. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Everyone can turn back round. Uh, your 45 seconds begins now. Can't, can't be any worse than my drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be anything like your drawing, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but but Ross, Ross would definitely not have proven that. He'd be turning in his grave right now. He'd be turning in his grave, yeah. <laughs> He's not one to get hot under the collar, but I think he would do tonight. Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> let's, not, let's not go there. Yeah. No, that's a bit wrong, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Don't subscribe to him. Wrong person as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, five seconds remaining on that one, Ian. Four, three, two, and one. Stop drawing. Yeah. Not brilliant. It'll do. Let's uh, get you over there. Let's uh, bring you the double out of yeah? Mm, okay, interesting. Uh, what is this, please? Have a think, if you like. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> I got it. I got it. When you've got something in your head, write it down. Could be interesting, could be very interesting indeed. Right, everyone got an answer? Yep. Yep. Good stuff. All right, Steve. I have put a Herc slash C130. Herc from Steve. Jack. Yeah. I've gone for a B52. A B52? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> B52. Four engine short. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> uh Matteo, over to you. B17. B17. Uh, yeah. Darren? C-130 Hercules. C-130. Noel? I've put a bear, the Russian... Like, the Russian oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can yeah. see it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Ian, back on screen, please. Uh, Ian had the task to draw, and a very well done to those that said the C-130 Hercules. Oh. Points to Darren and Steve on that one. Very well done. All right, three more to go. Uh, Steve, you are up next now, I believe. So, uh, if everyone likes to turn away. Now, I'm looking for a specific type for this one. Um, so, here's, here's what you're drawing. Okay. Do you need to look it up? Uh, no. Okay, everyone turn back. Looking for the specific one on this one. 45 seconds starts now. Okay. 
if you are enjoying the quiz, do leave a like. It uh, helps the channel out. Much be much appreciated, of course. If you are new around here as well, do consider dropping a subscribe. Can I ask Noel a question? You can. There is 20 seconds. Go for it. Oh, okay. I'll be quick. When you went to the Everest base camp on the uh, Twin Squirrel, or the Squirrel, yeah. and the McDonald's, was the McDonald's freezing cold? KFC, but yeah, it was. In fact, was it KFC? fun story behind that. Originally, it was going to be a Big Mac, um, but yeah. then I got a Big Mac in Dubai, took it to Nepal, because they don't sell beef in Nepal because it's cow and it's sacred. Yeah. Then I realised that A, that Stop the drawing, Big Steve. Mac would... You can carry on. You Stop drawing. Um, you can carry on. A, that the Big Mac would be a manky by the time it had been sat and it did look horrible and greasy and the box was all soggy. But also, um, eating cow on a sacred mountain in Nepal was probably not the most politically correct thing to do. So I ended up <laughs> taking KFC instead. So that's the story behind it. <laughs> Very good. Did it taste nice? It was all right. It was cold, but it still tasted feet? good. Cold KFC is still KFC, isn't it? So, <laughs> we're good. Did, did did the, uh... worst of my <laughs> true. A memorable true. KFC. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, not really, because I was almost passed out with hypoxia, but yeah, it was... <laughs> <laughs> all good. <laughs> all right, Steve. Over to you then. I'm Again, I'm looking for specifics on this one. Yeah, good luck, good luck with this one, chaps. <laughs> What the? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Mm. All right. Turbulent. <laughs> God. Uh, well, she kept saying that uh, Noel is def definitely giving off uh, James Bond villain vibes every time he turns around. <laughs> okay. He's a cat on his lap. <laughs> White cat. I'm thinking more Austin Powers with the. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone got an answer? Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, we're just going to very quickly welcome the SDTV Live team to the uh, Copyright Elite Club uh, by joining the membership. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, and welcome on board to the Crazy Gang. Uh, right. So, uh, Ian, over to you for, uh, for a guess on that, please. Okay. I mean, it looks small enough to be a private jet with its little windows inside there. Um, but with underslung engines, I'll say, I don't know, I'm going to go for an A220 or something. A220? A220, okay. yeah. Uh, Jack, over to you. I know this is completely wrong, but I've gone for an uh, Messerschmitt ME262. It's not a bad shot. I know where you're going. It's not a bad shout. I know where you're going. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad shout. Matteo, over to you. 737 200. 737 yeah, 200 yeah. from Matteo. Uh, Darren, over to you. 737 200. And Noel? A220. 8220 as well. Uh, right, oh, let's bring it back up on screen. Uh, points go to um, those that said 737 200. Hey. Very well done. Not many of them now. No. no. Sadly. All right. Uh, so Steve's just drawn. Um, so who have we got left? We've got... Uh, da, 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 who was it? Matteo, uh, Matteo you're up next. Uh, okay. So everybody would like to turn around in the most James Bond, James Bond villainous way. <laughs> Let's get a new pen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Again, looking for specifics on this one. Ian, if you want to turn away. I'll do a put yeah, sorry. If you can draw this one, please. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Everyone can turn back round in the most villainous of ways. <laughs> I like it. Very good. <laughs> Just that, mm. <laughs> All right, 45 seconds, uh, Matthew starts now. Okay. Uh, Lewis Chapman asking, do I change the background every week? If it's this background, then quite possibly. That's only if I can be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen Gemma's asking if I've got my Noel Phillips socks on. I um, have, so... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Always stand by my merch. <laughs> there's a, there's a song in there. Exactly. 
There's a song Tax write off. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by your merch. Um, anyway, uh, right, five seconds remaining for the drawing. Three, two, one, stop the drawing. Um, let's get you to there. Right. Your drawing, please. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Which one is yeah. this, please? Gemma saying, I don't think you would have them small enough for my UK size four feet. It's one size fits all, I think. Yeah. I believe, but yeah. Hmm. All right. Everyone got an answer? Yep. Let's go for it. So, Ian, over to you. Well, I'm saying an A340, but I don't know. You, know, you want a specific I, time, I will, don't I you? will need specifics for this one. 300. A340, 300. Jack? I've gone for an A340, 500. A340, 500. Um, Steve? Uh, I have also gone A340, 300. 300, okay. Um, Darren? A340, 600. And Noel? A340, 600. A340, 600. Okay, let's get it back on the screen. And Matteo was drawing... The A340 600. Oh, well done. So points for Darren and Noel. Very good. Okay, two more to go. Uh, and up next is Noel. So everyone else can turn away. Okay, lovely job. Um, I mean, Ian's taken it literally and walked out the room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, right, you, uh, I need you to draw this one for me, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody can turn back round, or turn cameras round, or whatever they need to do. Uh, and forty-five seconds start now. He's got his kids, got a teddy bear. <laughs> like it. Moral support. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <coughs> Bruce asking, are them socks from Love Honey? No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. Sorry about that. <laughs> Call an nature. They're not. Um, good stuff. All right. Uh, 10 seconds remaining. Can we see a picture, please? Yeah, I haven't oh. done it yet. Five, oh, four, yeah, guys. Three, three, two, one. All right. Stop the drawing. Uh, we're just going to say goodbye to uh, Alf, Alfet, who's leaving us. Um, so yeah. thanks for popping in. See you soon, no doubt. Uh, right, let's get you up there so we can show that off. All right, this aircraft, please. Is that what it's? Is that what we're calling it? An aircraft. This drawing, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who does that? Blo uh, what? Uh, what has Noel drawn? Have a think. <coughs> Everybody got an answer? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Start off with you, Ian. Yeah. I've gone for an F35. F35. Uh, Jack? I've gone for a pig eye advantage. Try saying that after a few westerns. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Steve, Steve, Steve over to you. I've gone for a hawker hunter. Hawker hunter. Oh, good chat. Uh, Darren? I've absolutely no clue, no offence. I put Learjet. Learjet. Uh, Matteo? I put a typhoon. Typhoon. I'm on the wrong way. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's have a look then. Noel, if you want to put it back up on screen. Hang on a minute. 
open it up again. There we go. There it is. All right. Uh, Noel was given the task of drawing. It's a space rocket. <laughs> the Eurofighter Typhoon. Very well oh, done no, to Matteo, sorry. who gets the two. Oh, right. yeah. It's the canards. I was thinking the canards and the little yeah, round yeah, yeah. thing I tried to do at the back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, Very good. All right, two points to Matteo on that one. I thought to be that little were it called an X ten or something, the one we dropped from bottom of that. You know, for the oh, uh, first. Yeah, yeah, I know which one. Uh, about. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. X fifteen. Look, you know, X fifteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you've still been wrong, but. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no, but, yeah. All right, last. If we draw, mate, we'd have done a good job of it. Mm. Last one of the round. <laughs> Um, this is for Darren to draw. So if everyone can turn away. Um, and I'm going to give you, Darren, this one to draw in 45 seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. 40, do you need to look it up? No. no all good. Uh, 45 seconds begins now. Everyone can turn back around. Ian's getting quite a bit of a, uh, a a bonus curtain looking tonight. She must be thrilled. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done the old curtain uh, curtain look. Curtain review, yeah. Curtain cool. You need to send me down some from her work, you know. <laughs> mm, oh, <dear>. Other shops <laughs> are available. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Talking about it. <laughs> Uh, just something distinctive. All um, right. Uh, five seconds remaining. Four. We saw a discount out for the two, merch on one for curtains. Done on discount. <laughs> All right. Stop drawing. <laughs> no. Let's uh, bring you up on the screen there. Uh, right. Please reveal your drawing. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Ah. Oh, okay, I'll tell you what, it's not that bad. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, have a think as to what that is, please. And uh, let me know what you think. Or write down something mm -hmm. if you uh, know what that could be. Everyone got an answer for this one? Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Okay. All right, let's uh, go through the round for the final drawing of the uh, of the round. Uh, Ian, over to you. I've got an A four hundred. A four hundred, Jack. Atlas A four hundred M. A four hundred, Steve. A four hundred M. A four hundred, Noel. A four hundred M. A four hundred and Matthew. Uh, no idea. Sorry, I put one of those like Britain Norman things. IPhone. Britain yeah. Norman things. Yeah, sorry, the Islander, <laughs> Trilander. Yeah. All right. Uh, Darren, if you want to just bring it back up on screen. For the last one of the round, Darren was given the A400. Very nice. Come on. Points across the board, except for Matteo and, of course, Darren as well. Very good. Well done, everybody. That is the end of round two. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff. This is why I dragged it out a lot. So uh, it's it's gone well. Okay. Have you ever watched it only connect on BBC Two on a Monday? No. 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 Oh, I've never watched it. No. I'll watch it. This is a doddle compared to that. <laughs> oh, that's a doddle compared to this. <coughs> All right. After round two, here are the scores in joint last place with ten points is Jack and Ian. Hey. Uh, in We're fourth place. In fourth place with 14 points, it's Steve. In joint second on 20 points, it's Matteo and Noel. And six points ahead is Darren with 26 points in the lead. All to play for. Ooh. Still all to play for. Big points up for grabs. I know, uh, I think it might have been Darren who said he wasn't going to be very good at this particular round and hoped that it wouldn't show up. However, yeah. um, we are now about to play It Costs What?, <laughs> this is more to do with an antique roadshow, isn't it? <laughs> All right. How this round works is very, very simple. I have uh, I have looked and spent most of the day looking on the deepest, darkest parts of eBay, 
more importantly, the UK version, so everything should be in pounds sterling, uh, which is, of course, uh, the, the more important thing. Um, you are looking at the buy now price for this uh, for these objects that I have found, and I'm going to present to you. There are 10 of them. There are five points up for grabs for the person that's the closest. Uh, you must be under and not over. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Um, so 10 objects, you're going to see them. I will read out the descriptions in terms of um, giving you a little bit more detail about them. And I just need you to guess the price. Uh, Jack is always very good at this one, considering throughout the five shows we've done, he's only gained two points for it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's uh, let's kick things off with this nice little piece here. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. One's missing a wheel. It is. Does that affect the wheel value? Yeah, sorry. So that this one that will affect it. So the uh, unless you could take the spare wheel off that <laughs> car underneath and pop that on there. <laughs> so this is uh, KLM memorabilia from 1984. It's a Thai postcard and five branded uh, Lado model cars. Um, more detail on it. Um, it says KLM memorabilia 1984, blah, 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 blah. Postcard and tie from 1984, 50 year anniversary flight to Melbourne. Ooh. Um, five uh, KLM branded cars from the late 80s, early 90s, one missing a tire and one missing a canopy. I just need the buy now price, please. Is that, is that an old Ford, Ford Roadster by any chance? No, that's not. No, that's not. I don't know. Uh, let me know when everyone's got a price. Got it. We'll have a price. Uh... Everyone's got a price. <laughs> I have no idea. This is hard. I imagine they'd be citrons, wouldn't they? Safe. <laughs> if you don't know and can't think, just do the Jack approach and write down anything. <laughs> and I hope it works. A yeah. four hundred Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> How much for this? F uh, thirty-five. <laughs> Corbo. West Ham United. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, how much for these, please? I'm going to go around the room. Um. Uh, should we do? Oh, no, don't do it like that because it's not going to work. Um, Darren, over to you then, please. How much f do you think for the buy now price for those? Is that twenty or fifty? Fifty. Five zero. Five zero. Fifty pounds. Uh, Ian. Uh, Seventy-five. Seventy-five pounds. In fact, we are going to do it yeah. this way now that Ian's had his say, so that's fine. Uh, Matthew. Fifty-five. Fifty-five pounds. Noel? Okay, 40 quid. 40 quid. 30 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 32 plus post packaging. Who have we not done yet, Jack? Yeah. Okay, over to you for your price. £35.59. Oh, he's gone sensible. £35.59. Oh. I'm going to leave and come back again. <laughs> oh, everyone's just going to leave. Jack, you're all right. You're all right. Oh, but my, uh, my thing's gone completely uh, black in it. Oh, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> all right. We'll just we'll wait for the others to come back. <coughs> and then we'll uh, we'll get the price out there. Right, Jack's back, and oh, they both come back. Very good, good timing, everybody. All righty. Yep, all good, all good. Jack, all good. All good. All good. All right, I can reveal to you that there are no points uh, awarded to any of you, um, because you were all over. The actual price would set you back twenty five pounds. Wow. Oh. It's not that one, is it? Nope. Mm. That's all right. Mm. 25 quid. Can you make an offer? <laughs> you want to click the screen and try, or? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, try offering them 13 quid to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'd expect a discount with that missing tire. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, 25 quid. All right, no points for anybody. That is absolutely fine as we go on to item number two. What the hell? <laughs> no way. Eurovision jacket. That's what I'm usually wearing at this time of day. <laughs> I think it says Jow on it, doesn't it? All right. This is a uh, Japan Airlines Happy Coat vintage traditional garment. Uh, so what it's saying is uh, a traditional passenger memento from the Japan Airlines DC-8 era. Extremely rare. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. Has it got a size? Uh, They're small. It's Japan. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Condition is used, so it's obviously not brand new. I think, yeah, there's nothing on size. I'm, I'm talking it's even more used now. They've let it down on some skanky decking. I can see so. I can see someone's foot. That is a foot. Them, yeah, that, that is a foot. You you can't see a foot there. About four foot. Make a guess of the size then for comparison. Yeah, he was four foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> His foot was a bit loose. <laughs> I'll play for that. Footloose. Uh, Wayne Hartshorn was correct with the uh, price for the last one. He said £25, so he got it correct. Lots of people were close. Alison also said 25 Very, very good. All right, how much for this? Everyone got a price? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So, let me take that off screen. Uh, Ian, over to you, please. Oh, yeah, I put 20 quid. 20 pounds. Uh, Darren, where are you at? There you are. 90 in Primark. <laughs> in Primark. 90 in Primark. <laughs> Lovely job. Uh, I could buy off a Primark for 90 quid. <laughs> Jack, over to you. I've gone for 15 pounds 22. 50, talk about specific. Fifteen pound and twenty two pennies. Yeah, because he's bid on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see him on that show with that on. I have gone forty nine ninety nine or nearest offer. Forty nine ninety nine or nearest <laughs> offer. Um. Oh, hang on. Noel, over to you. I've gone for forty four pounds fifty. No, forty-four Ooh. pounds and fifty pence, and uh, who, I think we no, Matteo, isn't it? Matteo, over to you. I've also gone twenty quid, twenty pounds. Yeah, more. All right, now I can reveal to you that the uh, five points. Uh, it's like Eurovision, isn't it? Five points goes to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Belgium, no. Um, the five points goes to Darren. Darren was the closest. One hundred and sixty pounds. What? Really? Yeah. No really? way. One hundred and sixty pounds. There's no way. Not no way. <laughs> <laughs> wow, one hundred and sixty nectar points as well. Look at that. Oh yes. Can't beat the nectar points. <laughs> Did I accept Avios? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least you can pay in instalments. Yeah, <laughs> always a bonus. <laughs> Five points then to uh, to Darren on that one. Very good. That was a fluke. Wow. Okay, item number three. Nice little piece once again. It is this. This is a vintage uh, Swiss Air North America poster. Mm. Yeah. Is it from a plane? Inside a plane? Ooh. This is uh, one of those advertising posters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Depends on what size it is, I guess. How big says, is it? Um, that is the only the picture. picture but from what I can see, it's... Um, the only way I can describe it is if you've been on the London Underground and you go up the elevators, you see the big signs on the left-hand side sort of thing. That sort oh, of size. Okay. okay. Rather, you know, quite big. <clears throat> North America. It's framed as well. It is framed as well and in, in good condition. Nah. What's the picture actually of? I'm calling fake on that, mate. Is it feathers? <sighs> yeah, I can't work it out. No, I'm, it? I'm struggling to work it out myself. 
It's like someone's dropped breakfast cereal all over the floor. <laughs> okay. Interesting, nonetheless. <coughs> okay, everyone got a price? Yep, yep, yeah. All right, we'll start off with um, Matteo. Over to you. Um, how much for that one, please? Uh, 30 quid, no idea. 30 pounds, Steve. 19 pounds, 63p. 19 pounds, okay. Uh, Jack. So I've gone for a twenty pound and a penny. Twenty pound and a penny. Uh, <laughs> Ian, over to you. And with Matthew, I'm saying thirty quid, but I would say twenty nine quid for the frame and a quid for the picture. So thirty pounds. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, Noel. I've gone for ninety pounds, but I think I might be overestimating now. Ninety pounds. Uh, I can tell you that um, sometimes it is not bad to uh, overestimate something. The price would set you back a whopping £200. No. Wow. Which means five points goes to Noel. Very well done. Wow. Well done. Thank you. No. You guess. Whopping £200. I don't think that's genuine, if I'm honest. It's it's too too perfect for condition. And he's got another one at the side of it, hasn't he? There's, a, there's quite a few this guy's got, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's photocopying them. He has, he has a printing shop. <laughs> you can't even smell America <laughs> on the London listing looking at that. Looking out fakes. <laughs> All right. Another it's sort really of... It's not as good as that um, Japanese art gallery where they had the banana taped to the wall and said it was a picture. Yeah. And someone came in and said they were hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if he could spell on the listing. It's even spelled America wrong and it says it on the poster. North America. Yeah. Yeah. North America. Yeah. America. 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 Yeah. Fake. All right. Fake news. That's a report it, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Over to uh, our next one. Um, which again is a lovely little thing of uh, a little bit of uh, British history. Which is Oh wow. That. Oh that's nice. Ooh. Okay, this Ooh. is this Brazil. is an artist's impression of the Bristol Brabaz- Brabazon Brabazon. 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 Brabazon, yeah. Brabazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> for, those, for those unsure, obviously this is the biggest uh, sort of British-built aircraft that uh, never saw service because it came far too late into, uh, into being built. So they scrapped it almost immediately. Hmm. So is this a postcard or a post? So this is a vintage, it's a photo basically, of an artist's impression. So it's obviously a photo of a drawing that is uh, quite rare. Mm. The description says, a large original vintage manufacturer's photo of an artist's impression of the Bristol Brabazon. Um, it is approximately 22 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Uh, okay condition with wear. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm going um, to... It's not worth a lot, is it? So, how much for the artist impression of the Bristol Brabazon? There's a very interesting video on YouTube by a, a channel called Mustard that uh, perfectly, uh, perfectly outlines the uh, the history yeah. from uh, the planning to the building to the uh, to the scrapping of this aircraft. It's well worth watching. Yeah. Love Mustard. Mm. Yeah, Mustard is excellent. Yeah, very very informative. Yeah. Right. Everyone got a price. Yep. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Right, let's take that picture off. I thought that was quite cool, actually. Um, right, let's go across the board as we do again. So, Matteo, over to you. Right, Dragon's Den, I'm going to make you an offer. £2.50, I reckon. £2.50? Yeah, I mean, it's what? a photo. It's, it's It's got wear, apparently. It doesn't seem very big, so I'm going to say 2 50 2 50 oh. Oh, is it a postcard? Uh, 22 no, it centimeters. is a photo. Yeah, it's a photo. Oh, okay. mm. I think I've overcooked it. 22 <laughs> centimetres by 15 centimetres. Um, right, Steve, over to you. Uh, 30 quid. Mm. Steve, 30 quid. Um, okay, uh, Ian. Ian. Uh, well, I'm going to... Oh. 
Um, Matteo's offer. I'm going to offer you a full fifteen pounds for the four talk, but I want seventy five percent of the business. <laughs> <laughs> Can I speak to the wall, <laughs> uh, Darren? <laughs> I think I've got my decimal place in the wrong uh, wrong spot. I put two hundred and fifty pounds. Two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> Going for the Jack Rolls approach, I like it. No, I've gone for the vintage approach. I've gone for four pounds ninety nine. Four pounds ninety nine, and lastly, Jack. Oh, double your offer, uh, Darren. Four hundred and fifty quid. Four? You you haven't put four hundred and fifty quid, have you? <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. Four hundred and fifty. See if you want to buy them, Jack. <laughs> yeah, I've still got those magic things you owe me for. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So it's to no surprise that two of you were massively over, <laughs> being Jack and Darren. Um, the price that photo would set you back is £79.95. What? No. Nah. Yes. Uh, meaning that uh, those five points go to Steve. Yay. Hmm. Confirm that. Yes, that is correct. You needed that luck just because it's Bournemouth. What are you on about? You're going down. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, 17, uh, 79 at 95. Remember, eBay is a wonderful place full of wacky things that get sold at stupid prices. Upwards, uh, almost to the next one. This lovely little find. Oh. As Noel travels a lot, he I've will... got one of them. measures me electric. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As Noel travels a lot, you'll have seen plenty More of these. meters. This is when it loads. This is a Etihad Boeing 777-200 LR aircraft in-flight entertainment screen. It is off the aircraft Alpha 6 Lima Romeo Charlie, which was scrapped at Kemble. Does it come with the uh, entertainment box so you can play the videos? Yeah, it's, it, it's just a blank screen, isn't it? It says, X Etihad uh, 777 in-flight entertainment system screen removed from the passenger seats during aircraft part out and scrapping. These are, I these are in as removed from aircraft condition and are untested. Huh. Great collectible piece of aviation history. Each one is in blah, blah, blah condition and will show unique marks, wear, scratches and imperfections from thousands of flying hours. Wow. I didn't realise they were that white on the Etihad um, cabins. I thought they were different shade. That's cool. Mm. What's, the, what's the one below it? Right. That's a reflection. <laughs> oh, is it gla oh, a glass uh, table? Okay. Yeah, glass table, yeah. Um... I saw this aircraft, and uh, it's actually in what the video that's... Um, the first video I did of Kemble. It's the thumbnail of the, uh, the, the same aircraft this came out of. Yes, X Etihad Triple Seven Two Hundred Long Range. So, how much for that? We're going to go round the board. Everyone got a price? Yeah. yeah. Um. So, uh, Matteo, over to you. I guess eighty quid. Eighty pounds from Matteo, Steve. I don't think it's worth it, but I reckon they're asking four nine nine for it. Four hundred ninety nine pounds. Yeah. Okay, uh, Ian. Well, I've actually put. If you send me fifteen quid, I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, I don't think it's worth anything. quid. I'm I'm disgusted that they've even put that on. To be quite honest, fifteen quid. Fifteen quid. Fair enough, yeah. Darren. Um, I've got £30. Pounds. £30 pounds from Darren. Um, Noel? I've put £119.99. £119.99. Lastly, Jack? £124.10. £124.10. Pound pound All right. Very good. Uh, I can reveal to you, one of you is so close, and I mean so close to the point where you're out by a penny, because this would set you back... Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, that's all right. Which means um, everybody was over except for Ian. So Ian hey! gets five points. 
Yeah. 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 Y
So that circuit board piece is from the Yeovilton Concord. Okay. Um, it's just showing the autograph as the authentic, uh, 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 the piece of authenticity as well. That photo, I don't know if that's got even anything to do with it at this point. Yeah. Mm. It's still a nice piece, though, isn't it? Yes. But let's have a look and see then uh, what you seem to think. It's causing a lot of, uh, lot of chat in the chat. Mm. So let's uh, let's see what uh, you think about the price here. So uh, we're going to start with um, Steve. Uh, Five hundred and fifty quid. Five hundred and fifty quid, Matthew. Uh, I've put four nine nine. But give me a phone number, and I'll call you up, and we'll sort things through properly. <laughs> Jack, over to you. Six hundred and sixty-six. Number of the devil. Uh, Noel. Four hundred and forty-nine. Four hundred and forty-nine pounds, Darren. Forty-nine pounds. Forty-nine. Forty-nine pounds. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Ian. Too much. I put nine nine nine, Excuse and that's not the price. That's the number I'm calling to report. Nine hundred. I actually put eight hundred ninety-nine. Nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Okay. So, let me have a look here. You set Jim off in the comments. He's going mad about comments. Oh, I bet he is. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, he's correct. Someone's probably just pulling a fast one with it. But um, if, uh, if Ian, if you had uh, selected one less nine, you'd have got the points. 99 pounds is what it would have set you back. Wow. 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 So the five points mm. goes to Darren as everybody else was over. What? Very well done. Nowhere near that. <laughs> Very well done to you. Yeah. I, th I think the price questions its authenticity, doesn't it? Hmm. <clears throat> I would say so. It, yeah. I would say so. I reckon the component itself could be genuine. It's just everything that's with it, like the picture and all that. I just thrown don't... together. Yeah. Of yeah. Mm. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Not ideal. Shame, it, it could have been a really nice piece, that. Yeah. Right, on to the next one. There you go. Oh, oh I love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, this is, uh, this is a vintage Delta Airlines leather travel pouch personal items slash amenities machored bag. Michoud. Mitchude. Noel's got about 50 of those. Yeah. <laughs> <In the box. laughs> um, the only the other <laughs> the only other bit of description. Uh, the only other bit of description <laughs> is these were never used, so in lovely condition. Great for travel or as a wallet. Mm. Don't think I'd use it as a wallet personally, but there you go. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like in me. <laughs> yes, man. Lewis Chapman says a Delta Airlines colostomy bag. <laughs> <laughs> right, how much for this, please? Mm. All right. Let's have a look and see what uh, what we've put. Uh, starting with uh, Ian. Um, 30 quid. 30 pounds. Darren? Yep. I'll put 29. 29 pounds. Uh, Noel? Oh, I'll put 1999. 1999. Jack? 1995. Oh, proper price is right. This, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Uh, right, 1995. Um, who else we got? Matteo. Uh, I've also put 29. 29 as well. And Steve. 1994. No, I'm only joking. Uh, 20, 25 pound. 25 pounds. Uh, I can tell you that one of you is Bob on. Um, with the price of this, and that person uh, is Noel. Nineteen ninety nine is what it would set you back. Well, 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 that's all right. That. Yeah. 
He has inside knowledge. <laughs> yeah, have you seen who's selling it? Old Doc Phillips. <laughs> 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 Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I don't think that's too bad for that, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice little collectible. Right. That's probably uh, excess from the Delta Museum or something because they're they're mm. everywhere. <laughs> Definitely right. If you listen very very closely, you'll hear the sound of Wayne's uh, wallet start to open up <laughs> as we uh, reveal the next one, which is, I mean, I'd love to have it. God knows where I'd put it. Oh, oh. Yes. Well, I used to have a KLM DC-10 like that. <laughs> um, travel agent. All right. This is... It just says, large model aeroplane, Lockheed TriStar L-1011. Well, we all know what it is. Um, description from the seller. Uh, it says, a large model uh, Lockheed TriStar L-1011. Very large commercial model in the British Airways Landor livery. It has a wingspan of 134 centimetres um, and a fuselage length of 151 centimetres and it rests on a detachable chrome-plated tubular steel tripod. Uh, it's hollow resin construction and has detachable wings and it's a 30-year-old model. But if you're going to look at scales, it's 137 approximate. Whoa! Okay. A 137 scale model approximately. How much for this lovely, lovely model. And again, if you listen very closely, you'll start to uh, hear Wayne's uh, <laughs> Wayne's wallet. Katie Price starting the hashtag of uh, hashtag save Wayne's wallet. <laughs> Lewis from London Plain Spotting saying, We've lost Wayne in the chat. I think he's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Leanne, love, can, can, I, can I buy this? Can I please? <laughs> <coughs> How much do you think for this? The dog also, uh, there's also a dog in the uh, other pictures. There was a dog that is also not included. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to lower my price now. <laughs> there is a picture of it in uh, in the room, like in a, in, the, in one of the house rooms, and it is frigging huge, <laughs> to say the very <laughs> least. It's massive. Goodness me. Lovely little thing, though. How uh, I say little thing, but how how much would this set you back? Right, um, everyone got a got a, an answer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yo. All right, uh, let's go with uh, Steve. You first. How much for this um, one thirty seven scale um, Lockheed TriStar in British Airways Landor colours? Yeah, I think we fetched decent money, so I'm going to say three and a half k. £3,500. Matteo? Uh, I've gone for £495. £495. Uh, Jack? 999 quid. £999. Mm. Uh, Noel? £1,899. £1,899. Darren? I'll just say grand. £1,000. £1,000. And Ian? Uh, I've gone for 475 quid. 475 pounds. Mm. If you know your travel agent's models, you'll know they fetch quite a bit of money. Uh, this one would set you back 2,275 pounds. Mm, no pounds. way. Wow. Which means five points go to Noel. Oh, cool. Well done to you. I think it's right. Hey, really hands up if you had the money, who would actually purchase that? No. no. It's if not I a get away with it, I mind. I think <laughs> I might have trouble swinging that one past reach, but <laughs> <laughs> it's got detachable wings, though. <clears throat> True. <laughs> you got some windows in the background, Noel. What are they from? <laughs> A319747. You, some... you got some reggies for them? Or... Uh, EUPC and uh, BNLF, I think. Oh, nice. Or is it a CIV? It might have been a CIV one. I can't remember. It's written on the back of it. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's e EUPC. Is that a BAA319? Yeah, BAA319. I've literally sat behind that window. I was going to say, I've been on that bird. So maybe I, yeah. you know, have my sweat. Yeah, I did London it. to Manchester on that one. So <laughs> oh, nice. behind that very window, actually. So <laughs> that's a word it out. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Two to go. And if you thought that was big, 
Where on earth would you put oh, one of these? Oh, oh hello. <laughs> hello. Where on earth oh. would you put one of these? Hello, you sexy beast. All right, Jack, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Jack, how we doing? Yeah, put it away, Jack. We've done the love honey section already. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is... I mean, Jack knows what it is, but this is a Westland Lynx helicopter uh, airframe for static display. Yeah. Mm. Um, the item basically says, uh, the seller says, uh, the Westland Lynx served with the distinction of the British uh, Navy and Army for 40 years. Uh, the example has been fully decommissioned and most internal systems removed. Ideal for use as ground instructional training airframe, emergency evac trainer, a gate guardian, or a stunning looking museum static display exit. Or wonderful in the back of your uh, garden. UK sale only and delivery can be arranged. Otherwise, you've got to go and collect it. Yeah. So, fly, it fly it over. Fly over. There are no blades. That's the that's the other thing you need to uh, know. What? There are no blades. <coughs> so how much? Uh, how much for this one, please? There's a holiday park in a, a place called Wheaton near where I live. Um, right. And as you're driving down the driveway to go to where the lake is and the little pods that go around the lake, there's three or four of these dotted outside. Wow. Yeah. Both uh, Carl and uh, Carl Crawford and. Lewis Chapman saying they both make great holiday accommodations. Mm. Mm. Does anybody watch Walk With Me, Tim? He, uh, he did some glamping in one recently. I, yeah, I, I watch him. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that one as well. It's pretty good. He does a lot of, like ponting stuff as well and starts like slagging them off or something like that. I mean, how bad they are. <laughs> Especially the ones in Wales, Wales, apparently. They're supposed to be the worst ones. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like horrific. North Wales. Mm. Mm. Other oh, uh, holiday you destinations are available. Car. It's a caravan. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you tow, tow it behind you, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How much then for this uh, Westland uh, Lynx helicopter? Let's uh, take that off screen. Um, let's go for um, Ian first, please. Three and a half grand. Three and a half thousand pounds, Darren. Uh, I put down £20,000. 20k. Ooh. Yeah. Noel? I put 14500 14500 Jack? 126k. Really? £126,000. Hasn't got a rotor on it. I think he got very excited knowing it was a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Matteo, over to you. Uh, 9999 9, 9. 9, And Steve? Uh, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Right. One of you is extremely close. Um, to have this as yours or whatever you wanted to do with it, bar flying it, of course, this would set you back. 14,995 really? pounds. Wow. Wow. I thought you were going to say Jack was close then for a minute. <laughs> no, no, Jack was massively over. So the points go to uh, Noel on that one. Ooh. Well, if you're going to buy it, hurry up. Someone's already eyeing it up by the look of it. Mm. You tell I'm very ex experienced in buying useless tat off of eBay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very. Good. That Despite what it is, it's just, it's, I mean, no disrespect, but it's just a lump of scrap metal. Ultimately, that's all it is, isn't it? Mm. Yes. It's just there to be enjoyed, I suppose. Uh, right. Okay. Last one for this evening. Another nice little thing. And again, if you listen carefully, Wayne has just picked himself up from fainting and he's about to do the same again because we have this. Oh. Oh. Um, I like conky. Wow. Everyone loves a cutaway model. So I'm guessing that's like a Perspex thing and they've modelled all the seats and stuff yeah. like actually within it. So it's a BOAC Concorde uh, transparent resin handmade desktop model. Ooh. How big is it? The scale is 172. That was a big, okay. quite a big one. It's, yeah. yeah, the length of it is 85 centimeters, wingspan 35.6 centimeters, and the scale is 172. So, 
yeah, it's uh, quite large. It's got a charter interior, isn't it, with those colours? <laughs> It does look nice, the BOAC colours, I must admit. I guess the blue is economy. <laughs> okay. Everyone got an answer? Yep. 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 Good stuff. Okie dokie. Starting with uh, Steve this time. Uh, 750 quid. 750 quid. Matthew? Uh, I've gone 795. 795. Jack? 2,500. 2,500. Noel? 1,195. 1,195. Darren? Uh, 500. Five hundred and Ian. Two hundred and twenty-five. Two hundred and twenty-five pounds. Uh, Jack and Noel, you were both uh, over the price you would need to pay for this handmade resin model. Is eight hundred and eighty-eight pounds and eighty-four pence. Ooh. Wow. From the Philippines. From the Philippines, listed yeah. as a UK item. Which is obviously not the case. So eight hundred and eighty pounds, eighty-four pence, and there are five available. Nice. Five available. Yeah. Apparently. They're all on Etsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For twenty quid. Yeah. And you can get the frame from your local primary school. It looks like a triangle, doesn't it? <laughs> Ding. <laughs> all right. Five points goes to Matteo B for that one. So well done. Do we got any extra points for spotting a scam? Afraid not, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> afraid not right end of round three one more round to go let's have a look at the scores very very quickly so in last place with 10 points it is of course jack in fourth place on 10 points hours ago yeah <laughs> i told you he hasn't he, hasn't, he never gets any points on that round <laughs> uh jack won 10 points last place in uh, what we're on now one two three four in fifth uh with 15 it's ian in fourth with That's 19 right, is Steve. Uh, in third with 25 is Matteo. Um, then it's very, very close going into the last round. In second place is the current reigning champion, Darren, with 36. Oh. Ooh. Meaning four points ahead is Noel on 40. <laughs> Wow. Why did I invite? Why did I invite him on there? <laughs> <laughs> you know why, right? Yeah, yeah. As we go into our final round, which is called ejector seats. Oh my god! Jack's favourite round, I know, famous for Korma Airways. <laughs> when we were discussing uh, Indian airlines, the first thing he came up to was Korma Airways. Um, <laughs> So the idea of this is basically uh, survival, basically. Um, I will give you a topic. So it could be airports from a particular country, routes that are served by a particular airline, etc., etc. And we'll go round the room and you just need to shout one out. If it's right, you stay in. If you're wrong, you go out. And then it continues until there's one person standing. There are three rounds to this. So there are plenty of points up for grabs. Because there's six of us, the points that are up for grabs uh, are as follows. If you go out first, it's two points. If you go out se uh, second, you get four. Uh, third, you get six. Uh, fourth, you get eight. There are a maximum of 12 points that you can actually win. So it just goes up in twos, basically. Um, you get 12 points if you give me a correct answer if you're the last one standing. Um, I have three countries. You're basically naming airlines from these countries, whether it's past or present. Oh. We'll also take charter airlines and cargo airlines too. So <clears throat> those that know how it works, you know what we're about to do. Um, I will give you 30 seconds to do a quick brainstorm uh, for each round as well. So you can just write down a quick list. Um, as the first country that I need you to think about is Canada. 
30 seconds will go on the clock. In fact, no, I'll extend it. I'll give you 45 seconds to think of airlines past or present from Canada to have a little brainstorm as I go quickly into the chat. So between bottom place, Jack and Noel, there are 30 points up for grabs. Jack can still win, barring a miracle, of course, but it's still all to play for. Lewis is a big fan of this particular round. This should be quite interesting. All right, 10 seconds to write some down. And then I'll go over some more of the rules. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop writing. Okay. So the other bit I need to tell you is if one person says one airline and then later on in the round the airline is repeated, uh, you are also out. So it has to be repeated. Yeah, as you mentioned, just the once. So try not to repeat any airlines. We will go in order of back to front so ian will go first then darren then jack then noel then steve then matteo until there is one person standing 12 points up for grabs uh ian i have a list so this is what i will refer to as well if it's on the list it uh it means you stay in the round ian uh kick things off for us please air canada air canada of course is on the list darren uh, Canadian Airlines. One from the past, Canadian Airlines. Is uh, <laughs> I will always remember their DC-10. That was uh, yeah. the, had the signature livery. Very very nice. Oh, no, Canadian no. Airlines on the list. Uh, Jack. Cargo jet. Cargo jets, of course, on the list. Very very good. Uh, Noel. Flair. Flair, of course, it's on the list. Uh, Flair is there. Um, Steve, uh, WestJet, WestJet, of course, on the list. Matteo, Swoop, which one was that? Swoop, yeah, Swoop is on the list. Very, very good. Uh, back to you, Ian. Air Canada, Rouge, Air Canada, the ones that used to fly into Manchester. <laughs> yep, it's there on the list. Very, very good. Uh, Darren. Uh, Quebec Air. Hang on. You need to be Quebec Air or Quebec Airways. Going under the validation process. I'm not going for the old ones. That's my problem. Uh, Quebec, <laughs> Quebec Air is there. Oh, yeah, Quebec Air huh? is there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Quebec Air is there. Was. Good shout. Yeah, uh, Jack. Air Canada Express. <laughs> It is there. Uh, Noel. Air Inuit. Air Inuit. Oh, that's a good shout. A great name as well for an airline. Mm. Uh, Air Inuit is, uh, is there. Steve. Uh, calm Air. Calm Air. As in, calm yourself, sort of thing. Yeah. It is there. Well done. Very good shout. Couldn't see it for a second, but yeah, it is there. Good shout, Matteo. Uh, null in all. Null in all, of course. Very good shout. Uh, back to you then, uh, Ian. Air Transat. Air Transat, very good shout. Uh, it is there. Darren. Uh, Canada 3000. Canada 3000. Now we're going back. Yeah. Cracking knowledge. Yeah, Canada 3000 is there. Uh, <laughs> Jack, over to you. Montreal Air. Is this like a throw it out there and hope it's there? Yeah, clutching its straws. Yeah, that. Even I got that name. Name. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. Montreal Air. Probably. 
I'll give you it. Yeah, I will give you it. It is there. They used to operate um, the Catalina C46s, DC3s, and the Super Constellation. He knew that. It's there. Yeah, you stay in for now. Uh, no. Um, Pacific Coastal. Pacific Coastal? Uh, of course, it's there. Um, good shout. Steve. Uh, Porter. Porter. Very good shout. That is there. Um, over to Matthew. Canadian North. <sighs> <coughs> I heard a gasp then. Someone had that on their list. <laughs> I had that on my list. <laughs> uh, Canadian North. The 200 732s. I don't know they got rid of their last one the other day, actually. Yeah, yeah of course it's there. Very good shout. Uh, Ian, back to you. Um, I'm out of ideas. I'm just, I'm just going to say Canada Cargo. Don't even need to look because it is there. Um, oh, well done. Recently introduced the uh, 767 back to their fleet. I know that. Yeah, very good. Transporting uh, fish. Uh, <laughs> mm. Yeah, very good. Uh, Air Canada Cargo, uh, Darren? Uh, first Air used to have 737 200s. Amongst those. And 727s. Mm. You see them on yeah. these mids. Yeah. yeah, first Air. It is there. Uh, Jack? Calgary Airlines. <laughs> just, you're just literally, literally <laughs> clutching. <laughs> literally clutching. If it's there, probably is. <laughs> if it if it's there, he has named the type that they flew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly not. Two points. <laughs> Two points to Jack. He is out. So our next person eliminated will get four points. Um, we'll go to Noel. Um. Buffalo Airways. <laughs> I can hear that. Oh, no. Buffalo Airways. Yes, of course it is. It's there. Uh, Payback Steve. Canadian North. Yeah. <laughs> that was the same with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. Uh, yeah, my list is crossed out, so I'm just going to go for a, uh, a stereotypical thing and say Maple Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> That's a situation there. Yeah. Again, you have to name a type. <laughs> I'll tell you when they're whether it's right or not. It'll be a bombardier. Beach nineteen hundred. <laughs> it's there. No. It's there. You to operate <laughs> up till nineteen eighty seven and it's um Maple Maple Air with uh, the Piper Cherokee. It's, it's a private, <laughs> yeah, private airline. It's there. Right? It's on the list. It's on the list. Love that. Maple wow. Air is there. So you survive just for another round at least. Matteo, over to you. WestJet Encore. <laughs> they had the Dash 8s, I think. It's, it is there. Yeah, Encore is there. It is. Very good shout. Ian. I'm going to clone now. I'm just going to go on, on what Matteo said and say WestJet Cargo. Mm. I know they do. You got seven three seven, so it's definitely on the list. Very good shout. Um, so you stay in for now, uh, Darren. Over to you. Uh, another seven three seven two hundred operator, Nordair. Just need blue and white. Nord. N O R D Air. Oh, I got that wrong. Oh, nope, it's wrong. on the list. No, it's there. It is there. Good shout. Uh, no, I'll over to you. Pascan. Based out of Mon These are all ones he's flown yeah, on. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go through the ones I've flown on so far. I'm going to run out of ideas soon. <laughs> uh, Pascan, yes. Oh, okay. Pascan are there. Uh, Steve. Oh, uh, yeah. Mountie Airways. <laughs> <laughs> Is there with confidence that it might exist? Mountie Airways. Division of the police. <laughs> um, I can't believe it. It's not there. Four points to Steve. 
I had to. I'm sorry. Four points to Steve on that one, um, which means we go to Matteo. Uh, yeah, my youth is working against me. I'm out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you throw one out there if you want. Uh, uh, I've gone blank. No, sorry. I'm going to call it quits. Call Cheers. It quit. <laughs> call it quits. No worries. Six points. Yeah. Six points to Matteo for that round, um, which takes him to... Okay. All right. So we're on two. Ian. <laughs> Who's put wrong pair of services? Oh, no, it's RCMP. Sorry. Um, I, I haven't got a clue. Uh, I don't know. Air Canada Regional, Canada Regional. Air Canada Regional. You, my friend, are one lucky boy. Air Canada oh. Regional is there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll survive this round anyway. Uh, Darren, over to you. Uh, Ward Air, DC 10s, A310s. Old, yeah, old Ward Air. Uh, just confirm it's on the list. It is. Good shout. Uh, Noel. Harbour Air. Harbour. Harbour. Farber. H-A-B-O-U-R. As in like where boats go and seaplanes. Oh, Harbour, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, of course it is. Uh, Ian, over to you. Well, going off what Darren just said about Warder, I think they're the cargo division, so I'm going to say oh, no. Warder cargo. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I can't see the... Did they? Yeah, they did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, had a, they had a freight shed, probably. Yeah, they used to fly freight up into Arctic Circle for the diamond mines. Yeah, with DC-10. Mm, yeah, I remember watching it on TV. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> so eight points to Ian. Um, it's monitored there. Okay, so battle of the top two. Four points separate you both. So, Darren, over to you. Worldways. Used to have DC8s and then... Uh, Worldways. Yeah. Yep, very good. Very good. Uh, Noel, over to you. Air North. Yeah, it's there. Very good. Wasn't 100% sure. But... <laughs> uh, Darren, over to you. In Manitoba. Used to be based at Winnipeg. Air yeah, Manitoba, very good shout. Uh, Noel, over to you. Sunwing. Sunwing. It is there on the list. Very good. Darren? Uh, I don't know how to say this. Kelowna? Kelowna Air Cargo? Kelowna Air Cargo? They come this. Hang on. Yep, there it is. It's there on the list. Very good. Uh, Noel, over to you. Air Tindy, I think they're called. Tindy. T I N D I dash sevens, I believe. Maybe Air I'm wrong. Tindy. Okay, hang on.
Very good. Yeah, very good. Darren, over to you. Um, yeah, stop there, guys. It's always the dream now that was in front. Oh, I'm going to do a dirty. Vancouver Air. <laughs> My That's a dirty. Vancouver. Right, let's have a look. Is it there? Let's pick a city as the air on the end. Vancouver Air. They operate beavers outside the uh, airport. Probably not. <laughs> 10 points to Darren, which means for the full 12, uh, Noel, uh, I just need a correct answer. Otherwise, it's 10 points. I'm going to go with Trans Canada Airlines. Trans Canada Airlines. Only because I think I remember seeing an Air Canada retro jet with that painted on the side. Trans Canada Airlines are very, very well done. 12 points. Wow. A very, very tense round. <laughs> 12 points to Noel. Very, very good indeed. All right. Next round, can we pick a country he hasn't done one of his. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is Tuvalu. No, it's not. Um... <laughs> that <out> America. <laughs> No, very good. Well done. Right. Update on the scores, just so we can keep everybody in the loop as to what's happening. So the two more rounds of this, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so last place, 12 points. Jack, joint joint fourth uh, on 23. Stephen, Ian, Matteo in third, 31. Then second place, Darren with 46. And uh, Noel leading 52. Six points. Wow. wow. Separates <laughs> you both. I feel like Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next country that you can have 45 seconds just to brainstorm over is South Korea. Oh, wow. mm. Okay. 45 seconds starts now. Oh, that was tense. Very well done. Uh, Barry Price is leaving us. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, Ali Cat's oh, gone as well. Uh, thank you for joining us, Michelle Johnson as well. I think Ali knows. Did I get that wrong? Sorry, my bad. I didn't get it wrong. Uh, Michelle Johnson was the one leaving us. Thanks for popping in. Oh, dear me. Right, 15 seconds to go. Past or present airlines of South Korea. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Okay, stop uh, brainstorming. I dread to think what Jack's thought of. But we're going to go in reverse order. So Matthew first, then Steve, um, then uh, Noel, then Jack, then Darren, then Ian. Um, kick us off, please, um, Matthew. Korean Air. Korean Air, of course. Steve. <laughs> Uh, Jeju. Jeju, very good. I'm going to um, run out by the No. <laughs> um, Asiana. Asiana, of course, is on the list. Uh, Jack. Korean cargo. Korean cargo, it is there. Very good. Uh, Darren. Asiana air cargo. Asiana cargo, very good. My list gone. Ian. <laughs> air Busan. Air Busan, very good. Is there on the list? Back to you, uh, Matteo. Is there an air soul? That sounds familiar. <laughs> there is. <He's> <laughs> there, <laughs> there is. There is. There is. <laughs> there is. There is an air soul. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> air soul. Uh, Steve. Uh, Jim. J I M. Oh, Jin. Jin Air. Yeah. Very good. Uh, no. He said Jim Air, not Jin Air. I was going to say Jin Air. <laughs> um, T-Way Airlines. T-Way Airlines. Yep. Yeah, that's there. Very good. Jack? Qingdao Airlines. Who? Qingdao Airlines. Two points to Jack. Not to Qingdao. Uh, Darren? <laughs> Gangnam style air. 
How many are there? There got me many. Korea's quite. I'm not even bad. going to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you'll you'll be surprised. <laughs> It's a, it's a no, unfortunately. Uh, Four points to Darren. Um, so, Ian, over to you. Gangwon. Gangwon style. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? I mean... Let me put it in the chat. Let's just quickly see what the chat think. Hang on. I've also oh, well, fly gang one, gang one. I also spelt it wrong, but let's just see what people yeah. think. This is the name VAR. Type. Name, an air, name an aircraft type. <laughs> People are saying yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I should think so too. I, I, thank you. We'll accept it. <laughs> All right, um, Matthew, over to you. Uh, I'm going to put stab in the dark. Is uh, Jeju Express six points for Matthew? It's not, unfortunately. No worries. Six points. So let's uh, do, 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 do. update the scores. Okay. I forget who's after Matthew. I think it's you, Steve. Uh, Incheon Air or Airways, whatever it is. Who? I N C H E O N, <laughs> as in the city. Ah. I don't know if I can give this one. Okay. Let me just make sure there's not there's not another division of it, so that is fine. Okay, chat, over to you. VAR check once again. There is an hmm. airline that never launched called Incheon Tiger Airways. It's on the list. Do I give it? Incheon Tiger Airways. It never, ever launched. Do I give it because it's on the list? Yes or no? A lot of people saying yes. Gemma Rowe saying no. Lots of yeses. Going to have no, to I'm give it, even though it never launched. Steve, you're in. Uh, uh, no, Noel, over to you. I'm out of ideas. Um, Busan Air, I'm going to say. We've had Air Busan. I don't know whether Busan Air was another one. I've no idea. It's not, sadly. Um, so, eight points to Noel. Okay. This is making things very interesting. Mm. So both of you are on 23 points. So you two can pull away from Jack quite easily with this. So um, I believe it's Ian. Hang on. What is there? 10 and 12 points up for offer here. 10 and 12, yeah. Ian, do you want to call it 11 each and walk away then? No. Yeah, if you want to, stay. I'm happy with that, yeah. Hands on that? No. Yeah, we'll just do it. yeah I'll take that. <laughs> no. <laughs> None of that. Uh, Thank you. I'm just going to go for Seoul, Seoul Airlines. Ten points. Uh, so, Steve, for full 12, if you can give me a correct uh, answer. See, I, uh, my brother used to have like these dorky books back in the day. And I'm sure there was an airline, because I remember it, called Easter from around that kind of region. Like, yeah, Easter, Easter, something like that. Very good. 12 points. Get in, Martin. I told you those <laughs> books are worth having. <laughs> well points. Well done. Brilliant. Okay. The updated scores going into the last one. And it is still still all to play for. Um, last place, 14 points, Jack. Fifth place, 33 points, Ian. Fourth place, 35, Steve. Third place, 37, Matteo. Then Darren, second with 50, and Noel leading with 60. So just wow. 10 points. 
So, go wrong on this next one. You've got to go wrong first time on this next one. Um, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. So, a bit of a brainstorm for the last one with Mexico. Oh, my God. Right. I've missed um I may have missed a new member there, so whoever joined <laughs> apologies. Um, I think it was William and Evie Aviation. Um, welcome on board. Okay. Right, brainstorming over. For Mexico, all to play for. We're going to go the opposite way again. So Ian first, then Darren, then Jack, then Noel, then uh, Steve, and then Matteo. So, um, Ian, over to you. For the uh, Pero Mexico, Pero Mexico, of course, kicking us off. Uh, Darren, Valaris, Valaris is there. Jack, um, Mexico, <coughs> another two points for Jack. Mexicare is not there. Um, Sounds like a nursing arm. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, over to you. Um, Mexicana. Mexicana. Uh, come to us. We look after your people. Uh, Mexicana is there. Yes, very good shot. Uh, Steve. Viva Aerobus. Viva Aerobus. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Viva Aerobus is there, Matteo. Uh, Interjet. Interjet. Correct. Mm. That is there, uh, Ian. Enchilada Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this I'm struggling. turns us into like you know just going down the the racist card. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Think of something from the country and then just mention it. Enchilada Air. Cocaine, no. Sadly not, no. Four points for Ian. Okay, four points. Uh, so, Darren, over to you. Para Mexico Cargo. It's listed. It is on the list. I've never seen one though, which is bizarre. But yes, it's on the list, so I'll I'll take it. Um, Noel, over to you. Calafia. C A L A F I A. Calafia, very good. Yes, it's on the list. Um, Steve. Uh, Aeromar. Aeromar, good shout. Matthew. Yeah, Matthew. Uh, Air Mexico Express. Am I right in thinking that that little Embraer's? Or like the kind of regional express division of Air Mexico, the Embraer's? I mean, it's correct, but the, the in terms of the fleet, but unfortunately, the name isn't. Ah, uh, okay. All so, right. So, sadly, six uh, six points for Matteo. Okay. Um, back down to. Darren. Uh, TAR Cargo. They used to have 707s. Uh, TAR. Hang on. Well, maybe that's Argentina. Ah, could be the wrong country. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. Now I think it was Argentina now I'm thinking about it. And new Quiznes Jet Champion is Noel 
Philip. So eight points <laughs> for Darren. We'll finish the round. Um, it is your turn, Noel. Aero literal. Uh, yep, very good. Uh, Steve? I am totally and utterly done, so let's just go for... What month are we in? May. May air. Cinco de Mayo air. May air. Let's uh, let's pluck that one out of the sky. May air, yeah? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you ain't out yet, because that's part of that is, uh, that is on the <laughs> <No> list. <way. laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, they're still still going around. They're a regional airline based in Cancun. Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Noel, over to you. Uh, I've got two. One of them I can't pronounce, but I've been on them. But I've been on both of them. Magni charters. I'll give you magni charters. Don't even need to look at that. I know that's there. Steve. I really am done. Congratulations, Noel. Um, cartel air. Cartel, cartel air. <laughs> Strangely enough, that could have been the one I was about to say. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got lucky with the last one, but sadly not this time. Ten points for you, Steve. Um, so let's just put that into there. So for 12, uh, Noel. Yeah. So I've got one more. Um, I will go with Eris Servicios Guerrero. Uh, and I only know that because that is the Cessna caravan that I nearly crashed on when I was over there. <laughs> Just name it again for me. So it's Aero Servicios de Guerrero. So G U E R E R I O. Yeah, that's it. I got it. Very good. Aero Guerrero. Very good indeed. 12 points. Goes to Noel, your brand new quiz wow. jet champion. Well, I never thought that would be happening. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, here are the final scores. Finishing in last place with 16 points is our very own Jack Rolls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in fifth place, with a very respectable 37, is Ian. In, cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha, cha. in fourth place <laughs> fourth place with a very respectable 43 is Matteo so very well done to you thank you in third just two points ahead 45 is Steve uh, second place was the former champion um, Darren and of course uh, with 58 points and winning this evening with 72 and the new quiz and Jet champion wow is Noel Phillips. Well done, Noel. Well done, Very pal. Good. I'm lucky, Darren. Congrats. Very, 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 close. very well done indeed. What a show. What an evening. I'm knackered. I'm boiling in this suit jacket. Uh, <laughs> but it's been uh, been a lot of fun. Um, words as champion, please, uh, Noel. Um, well, I never thought I'd actually get this far. So, um, yeah, thank you for having me on. <laughs> <laughs> just goes to show even just an airport bum flying around on planes can do I can know something, I guess. Or guess gotta, stuff. I don't know. Come back and do it all again next month <laughs> to defend it. Absolutely. But uh yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah. But uh no, very very well done everybody. Um we are going to I'd say do some shout outs and stuff, but I've got to get up early for work in the morning. So <laughs> I think we'll keep it at that. But um, we will just do our normal, typical game show, wave at the camera, typical bye sort of thing. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Wave as wildly as you can. Um, and we'll see you for the next show uh, next week for, I think it's Model Mania, I think, something like that. But uh, until then, have a great rest of the week. <laughs> and uh, we'll see yeah. you soon. Take care, Thanks. everybody. Bye. 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 See ya. See ya. Bye. Got something to